G'day everybody and welcome back for some more RVs at War with myself and Black Shadow being chilled out on the couch watching TV. It's a great show on TV, isn't it? Uh, if you say so. If that is what you're into, then... <laughs> Uh, we need to fly ourselves back to the catapult because we decided to murder ourselves at the end of last week. That we did. That we did. Um. <gasps> what? And I know the perfect vehicle to do it with. Although I doesn't have a second chair and I don't think you'll trust me to fly you there. Why wouldn't I? Fair point, get on. Oh Yeah, if you can disconnect and... Give me a little nod forward, that might make life a lot easier for me. <laughs> you jumped from whoa, the railing, whoa, didn't you? Whoa, 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 Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a little bit of delay. Uh, Alright, I'm good. Where was the catapult again? Uh, do you not have a GPS for it? I don't think so. Oh. I thought well. I did. Um, oh wait, no, I do. I have a beautiful pink GPS. And a back in my face. Nice. At least it's a back. I could stand up. Uh, <laughs> nah, well, uh, uh, I saw your oh. eyes. Yeah. Oh, the doctor. Thanks so much for the tier one sub. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, thank, thank you, Merlin of Chaos. For the... uh, for the sub? Was it converted sub? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Xbox. For the converted sub. Wait, I got those two confused. Anyway, same thing. Thanks, Ariak. Thank you so much for the three gift subs. And thank you, them, Stardust, for 21 months. Yes, indeed, getting close to two years. Thank you, Master you're, MSC, for 20 months. Um, yes, what? You're in a battery. Not from my end, thankfully. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't slow down so fast. I, I literally have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dr. J. Tubbington, for the Prime sub. And thank you, the Doctor, as well, for 11 months. And thank you, Pastor Ron, for the Prime sub. There you go. And thank you, Falad, for converting your Prime sub to a... Tier, or your gift sub. It doesn't tell me which it is. To a tier one sub. I oh, know it does. Converted from a prime sub to a tier one sub. That's I was what looking it says at my, my activity end. feed and it doesn't. It combines the two there. Yeah, yeah, rather yeah. Rather than looking at chat. I which, know what you mean. You know, a mistake. But you look at chat. Okay, no, that actually hurts to say. Sorry, chat. <laughs> my name is not Capac, therefore I look at chat. You don't wait thirty minutes before realizing you've been raided by. Uh, Quite a few people. Yeah, something like that. Also, Shadow, blam. I was looking away. <laughs> I, I was trying to hydrate. <laughs> That's all right. Chat saw. Well, your chat saw. My chat saw. Um, right. Uh, launching to destroy outpost. Uh, need spectator cam. Okay. There is catapult. Catapult is this way. So. What did we... you do? What do you mean, what did I do? You didn't hear the clang. You didn't saw the scrap flying in front of the rover. No. Please tell me I'm not going insane. What did you break? All looks good to me. Oh. No, the top of the thing got. Oh, you cooked it off. with your thruster. Yeah, no, that's a bug that I have kind of seen on some servers, is that when a server is restarted, all the inertia dampeners are turned on again. Ah, uh, yeah, we should really use thrusters turn off rather than inertia dampeners turning off. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's the much more reliable way to do things. Oh. Okay, so. Just for a little recap on what we've done to the mining outpost. Uh. There are a lot less guns there than there were. I reckon... 
We just need to hit a couple more bits and then we can potentially walk straight in there. We've got a gun on the right. And we got the gun in the middle. So if we can knock over that middle tower, we'll be good. But I think we might have been getting a bit low on the old resources here. Yeah, it might be smart to quickly get the resources. Although there was a small container that had the tools. I'm guessing it's this one. Yes. Probably. Uh, I will hop up into... Wait, no. I need you to give me a lift up to my welding ship so that I can get in. And fly it back and go and collect more stuff. Forgot about that step. Yeah. It is funny that you're very reliant on me all of a sudden. I Makes like playing cooperatively. I like oh. to try and come up with even very ridiculous reasons as to why we would need to work together. Apparently so. Oh, right, I turned my I turned my thrusters off. <laughs> that would explain why I couldn't take oh, off. Yeah. Whoopsie. What? And you're just gonna leave me behind? How dare you? What do you mean leave you behind? You've got a welder to fly back home. I know. It's just that you're pulling ahead a lot. Yeah, I've got two big thrusters as my forward and reverse on this thing. Yeah, me too. Whoa. See ya. Ah! <laughs> oh, shadow overshot by trying to catch up. Thanks, Corbin Dallas. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, also, thank you, everybody, for... It's the 19th of Feb, and you lovely people have already gotten me to 203 of the 300 silly point things that Twitch needs so that I I can stop Twitch taking 50% of stuff. Which is lovely. Yeah, so if you ever wanted to screw over vessels and support Splitzy, now is the time. Well, I was about to say less for Bezos, more for me. Yeah. But you could say it that way too, I guess. And... I think I... I'd automated this. Uh, oh, wait, how was our production at? Do we actually... Oh, wait, hang on. Should I stay at base to manage hydrogen and other things? Oh, right. Make I sure needed to go and the fly parts? to the other... I needed to go to the rover and mine the ice. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah you were supposed to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew there were a bunch of jobs we needed to do before we could actually shoot the thing again. Alright, off I go. Does Twitch even make money? No. Uh, but Amazon Web Services does. And part of how it does it is by charging Twitch money. <laughs> it's charging itself money. That's how it works. Which way is it to the ice lake? Why don't He's I have a GPS for the ice lake? Because you probably kept going to the cobalt. Probably. Thanks, Fortis Draco. Thank you for the prime sub. Oh. Dang it. I didn't notice in the process of everything else that stand up was used <laughs> up goes the overweighted desk wow a poor desk <laughs> well I got a bit overexcited when I did the remodeling of the desk I'm glad nice. I did because man it's lovely having a giant desk but <laughs> the motor really does not particularly like it Tommaso, I read that as howdy fellow kids. 
Uh, I mean, I might be young, but I'm not that young anymore. No, I, uh, mm, never mind. <laughs> Get my chair out of the way. Let's see, what do we need? No, something we might be able to set up What's is that? a uh, vanilla AI to go and supply you with parts if you have a beacon on your rover. Um, we could. I guess it could be funny watching that thing crash into the catapult as I fling it and don't realize. <laughs> good point, good point. Um, but yeah, I guess I... Well, why don't I, I get this... Why don't I get this ice mined and then maybe I can try and do something like that? Although, hang on, no, no. No? No, because we have the whole, um, uh, like, how are you going to define f for the vanilla AI that it's full? That it's got the components that were not run out already. Press off a button. So the delivery process is automated where it will empty itself out at your rover and then come back once it's empty and then wait for the next load. So it doesn't constantly fly as well. Oh, you you thinking it's a semi-automated thing? Yeah. I, okay. Fully automated, that's never gonna work. We are not reliable enough for that. It's more that the delivery process itself can be automated, so we have one person at base doing a thing and another person flinging just things. Yep. Okay. That sounds more achievable. Uh, what was I gonna do? Text panel, right. Okay, and... Stop here. Drills on. Extend. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, always, definitely, 100% still flinging things. We just gotta get, make sure that we've got enough fuel to do so. Because we've run out of fuel at this ice base. So I gotta do some drilling. And while I'm getting some drilling done, I'm hoping I can get the resources to add some more of these O2H2 gens that I stuck out the side on this side. And maybe on the other side too. But we'll see. Uh, don't think we've got much on board. So I think it might be out of iron. Yeah. Oh no, we're not. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm now regretting not bringing my good tools. I might have to go home and get them. What do you mean home? I might have to, have to go to, to the catapult and get them. Oh. Oh, is that how you feel about the catapult? The Why is there a medium home? cargo container and a connector just lying loose over here? What? At the ice lake. Oh, that was my cargo module. Oh, okay. Guess that makes sense. Thanks, NCC. Thank you for 22 months. Not sure. Let's do pink for once. We have plenty of iron, nickel is fine, silicon... Oh my goodness, we have so much silicon. We can probably ditch some of the silicon, I imagine. Oh, what? what? Why are they telling me to leave? What? I don't know why, also, but you, you deserved it. Close. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that hey, doesn't Melon. help, Capac. <laughs> we still haven't killed that base? Yeah, of course. Hey, LC. Um, yeah, we haven't killed the base. We've, we've had fun, slowly tearing it apart piece by piece. The thing is, once we figure out a way to kill these bases quickly, then they'll all be quick. Why would we want that? No way. 
Why should I park also, this when I can actually get in it? Probably on this one. Hmm. How far away is the nickel? Hmm. 4.6. Uh, did, are you ice mining or not shit? Or have uh, you the forgotten? ice mining has begun. That means no? Or yes? Or. No, the ice mining has begun. I'm just not there right now. I was oh. going to collect my tools. I'm oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm currently unable to do mining, unfortunately. Oh, right, yeah. Um, but yeah, the I have I set the drills to do a plunge, and then I flew to go get my tools, and now I'm flying back to do the next plunge. Okay. So there'll be some ice being processed and some fuel being generated over there. And I suppose I can start working on the cargo drone. Yeah, if you want to. I thought you didn't oh. want to do the vanilla ones. I thought you were going to make me do them. I am going to need to do the vanilla ones because the script doesn't allow for mobile uh -huh. connectors. And also, I. You still am not plan on making me do the connection bit? Yep. Cool. Like, I know how it's done, but I also know how it's gonna break. So. It'll be interesting be to for me to see crazy. what the breaking is. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That is basically what it is. Oh, it's um, the wiggle of doom. doom. Did you, when you set yours up, did you turn off the magnetic force on the connectors? I did not. Okay, good. Because you know, you that it's one of those situations where you genuinely want the magnet. Yeah, like I did turn it down. If I did have a heavy oh. drone, but I did not. Yeah, you shouldn't turn it yeah, down. Like, it does need its full force. Well, it was even that or blowing up the connector, so... Uh-oh, uh-oh! Uh. Um... Shadow? Are you a fish help. in a barrel? I, I just saw that on the stream. <laughs> You're a fish in a barrel. Um... Put away my drill too. Oh, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually do need uh, you to get over here. Yeah, no, I'm on my way. <laughs> uh, can you make sure you're bringing a hand drill so you can drill down to me? <laughs> oh, I have a better idea. Yeah. Oh dear. What am I doing? This is a world of ship that has cargo access. Ah, uh, poop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh. I can. I just want to feel the wrong way up again. But from the other side this time. Ow. Ow. Oh, hurting yourself. I'm trying to get into the piston so I can retract them. But it, it's not working. Mm -hmm. Your health is low. My health is low. Uh, Dominator, if you're referring to the last Space oh, Engineers oh. stream I did with Dwarf, that was a very special situation because I was trying to have it f oh, back. I was trying to have Pam fly a ship with many subgrids. Because I was curious whether it would work. And it did not. Come on, it, come um, on. Yeah. It hit the asteroid. <sighs> Alright, now I'm safely in the pit. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, Why not turn the drills off first? Because that would be sensible and I felt like I deserved the punishment. Also, I completely forgot that I should do that. But he doesn't do sensible. You know what what on earth is your plan here? I was hoping I could fly in between but that I can so I'm just gonna grab your flyer you and then see if I can get in. You also wouldn't fit in the hole. Oh, with that attitude, I can't. 
Also, I was planning on reversing into the hole. That's why there's a chair on the back. Um, Might have worked. I think I, I honestly think the quickest way would be just to drill down with the hand drill. Fine. Unless you want to bring... Because I'm not even sure if my little flyer will fit in here. I think it'll be a iffy squeeze. Oh, hello. There, we're stuck here together. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, that that is a very good point, Talizin. I'm surprised Shadow didn't just drop a drill on my head and say, here, fix your own problem. That's very <laughs> tempting. I'm surprised he didn't do it. Thanks, Namus. Thank you for the prime sub. And thank you, Chris Thought, also for the prime sub. I saw blue skies. I see blue skies. Yes. Hooray. Thank you. I will not attempt to jump that again. Also, did you say drop a drill down? Because I can just drop the static, oh, static grid. The large grid drill down as well. I mean, you could have. That would have been less helpful. Oh, it would have gotten you out of the hole. Just not alive. Hmm. That is true. Okay, well that's going. Let's do some welding, which is what I decided to wander off for in the first place. Wait, what? Thank you, Ballad. Thank you for the... Thank you for the gift sub. It'd be funny if the running block drills picked up the falling tool drill. Oh. I honestly don't know if that happens. Happen? I mean, I know they can pick up stone, but... Yeah. Uh, also, I've got 24% mm. hydrogen on board the truck right now. Okay. Cool. So... Good job. Uh, there's probably enough here for you to come collect it for your miner. I'll send the drone over. Ooh, oh wait, I'm I need to, to I need to connect on. up to the base to offload onto the base, don't I? Uh, yeah. Okay. I could have dropped the refine. Well, actually, I couldn't have dropped the refinery down. It's too big. Mm. I could have it plugged the hole. <laughs> it could have. Yes, you you could have plugged. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you started that sentence with such joy as well. Yeah, and then you register what you're actually saying. You're like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Something about this isn't right. Almost up. Fair enough. Okay, the batteries on the drone are charging, so it will continue its uh, route as soon as it's ready. Uh, will it wait over here till it's full? Yes. It okay. will leave the base when battery full, and it will leave the base uh, that's mining when hydrogen is full. Okay, cool. Uh, how much ice have we got on board? 250,000, as well as 455,000 stone. Uh, I should probably turn on the sorter. Stop pooping out that stone. That's not healthy. It's more healthy than having it on the inside. True, but you probably should have prevented that from happening anyway. Maybe. Uh, MWG, there are some flat mows to be found in Scrapyard. I think it's only the large ones at the moment, though. I have yet to find one. That's not surprising. They're pretty rare. Oh. oh. Hmm. 
feel like I can oh, make these yeah, pistons go a little bit faster. They're going pretty slow. Well, if your rover suddenly goes up into the air, you know it's time to stop. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, Triax, I only noticed that I um, missed those wheels as I was editing it. I'm like, oh, you're kidding me. That was six large steel tubes I missed out on. Oh, well. Oh, I keep seeing a green signal moving and I think like, oh, the drone is moving. No, it's just a stupid antenna rotating. <laughs> uh, I love how much that messes with you. Of course you do. Well, when of you do things to mess with do. someone, you kind of want it to have an effect, don't you? Well, y yeah. This makes me think what I should do to you next time. Uh, Calibros, if you put a sorter between the drills and the rest of the rig and <laughs> set it to only allow ice through, the drills would fill and then would stop filling and so you'd run out so you wouldn't get any ice. I'm pretty confident. I don't think the drills can magically create ice in a connected cargo system. It creates the ice in the drill itself and then transfers it over the cargo conveyor system. So you have to empty out the drills to be able to continue mining ice. So there always needs to be some uh. inventory space in the drills. You can't fill them up with something and then just say, nope, no more. Was the rumbling the desk? I hope so. That's concerning. Here it is. Also, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Flair. Although, if you could send me a DM, because I probably did forget. How much ice do we have now? 697,000. Tanks are 38%. And because the drills move faster now, I can actually... I don't have much time to do much building of O2H2 gens. That's not a bad thing. I got a GPS online server. What? Oh, you mean with how some of the wind turbines are in the ground and still functional? That's relatively known already. You right there, Mother Rune? <laughs> Shadow? Hmm? You, you, you were doing a capac muttering. Oh, apparently it comes through like that on TeamSpeak. I don't think I was muttering, but... Um... <laughs> You're just talking very low. Oh, Flair, that if you watch the video, you'll have an answer to your question. I did watch the rest of it, so... Although... Ah, never mind, it's fine. You're about to give spoilers I... for my video that only went out last night. No. That's why I'm not saying anything specific about it. <laughs> anyway. Um how how big are you making this drone? That's gonna carry the cargo. Like are you planning me Ooh, medium cargo, cargo large containers? cargo? Oh, drone is on its way. Beware. Okay. Let's zoom in into your area. That's alright. I'm still parked over the ice, so I should be fine. Famous last words. Indeed. Just keep in mind that I was the first one to fly that drone. It created the route off of my flying. <laughs> okay, I 
might need to eject a lot more stone because I have filled one of the large cargo containers. Oh, no, I keep drilling too far. I need to set up these pistons to have a maximum length. Let's go maximum distance of five meters and see how that works. Thanks, Calmarin. Thank you for 13 months. Lucky 13. Is this like a spice harvester from June, but instead of spice, it harvests ice? Um, no, because there are no giant worms that can eat us, right? Uh, and we don't have a carry all for the miner yet either. We kind of do. We do. My ship. Can your ship pick up my whole rover, though? If it's unloaded, yeah. Huh. Okay, maybe we I do. I imagine it can. Alright, you've got like four large hydrogen thrusters, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably could. And this space is a mess. It has a grown organically. Mess, right? Yeah, like... It's like building your first factory in Factorio. It's gonna be a mess because you are just growing it instead of thinking about how to lay it out. It's beautiful. Uh, let's try 4.2 meters. Let's keep shrinking this down. Although despite its beauty, I do want to organize. I just <laughs> can't help myself. It. It's a bad habit. Especially when playing with people. That's what I should so do with this um, this drill setup in the future if I make another big rover like this. Stick some drills pointing... Stick Well, either stagger the drills so that they're all at different depths so you can push it down and then just very slowly creep forward, drilling at the correct depth for the ice, or have some, some pointing forwards to do the same. So you can just push the pistons down and then just very slowly creep forward, mining as you go along. I do tend to avoid doing that most of the time, but I feel like it could work. As long as no one with low light, with high latency controls the vehicle. <laughs> as I imagine it would be near impossible to do with high latency. Well, what do you need me to do? Uh, nothing. I was just thinking about ways to improve this drill setup if I do it again. Okay. Uh, are we going for fuel? We're at 53% of the tanks, so one large tank full. Wheel override plus slow speed limit. A terrifying Canada, but possible? Thanks, Dog and Beans. Big for 16 months. Uh, well, I don't uh, trust uh, the speed off overrides for rovers. No. I kind of want to try to trust them just because I'm curious uh. <laughs> and I've never done it. But I've never done it because I don't trust it. <laughs> so I have tried it and in my experience like it either works okay. Also why is there a random sampler here? Oh that was well, how I figured out how much I... stuff we needed for the stuff on the catapult. And you don't clean it up after yourself? When when was I back at base and remembering that I'd done that? Oh. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's just stationary all over again. Now we, now we can use that assembler to calculate other things if you want. Too bad it's already gone. Oh. What's in the way? Oh, right, my experience with the wheel of rights. They yeah, go what are you the wrong ways. Uh, going forward. <laughs> I got lazy one time and I was like, what if I just turn on overrides? Maybe that will work. So I tried to do overrides and then the wheels were like, yeah, no, I want to go this way, but my neighbor wants to go that way. Oh, as in some the overrides opposing each other and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Although that was quite a while ago, so... Yeah. I 
think that's gotten better, but I think it is still weird. I feel like I did that, I messed with the overrides in survival maybe when I was messing with my underground tram. Um, and yeah, it's, it, it goes weird. It was that survival maybe? The underground tram, yeah. But back then, wheels did work differently. Like, back in Survival Maybe was when the transition happened where we lost access to all the damping controls and all that sort of stuff. Ah. So we used to have... We used to have the ability to control suspension damping and all these other things, but we can't do that anymore. Haven't for years. Also, Spitz, quick question. Hmm? What is your opinion on the welding bots from AI enabled? Um, I've never actually used them. Are I you don't... opposed to using them? Um, well, do we have a money source yet? Yes and no. <laughs> that, that seems like a conflict. Uh, yes, we can make our civilian products which we can sell for money. And but we have no, nowhere to sell them. We, we can't quickly travel to a station to sell them right now. Yeah, so my thought Although was it was something we could probably nearby vicinity. mess with when we get to the position where we can do that. That's what I assumed. Yeah. Uh, so, because. Sure. Unless you really, 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 really want to mess with it sooner. I just don't think we've got much use for them right now, either. Yeah, we do. You see no base? Oh, you just want all the general stuff to get finished, don't you? Yeah. Like, it's either I spend an entire stream welding up everything... Uh, if you if you want to use your money to do room. that, that's fine. I can't tell you what to do with your money. Ooh. I like also, that do answer. we have the Don't we need silver to make the thing? Does it take med components to make it? No. The bot factory? What does it take? Uh, 10 steel plates, 10 computers, 2 displays, motor, large steel troops, construction components. It... Oh, so it's super cheap. Yeah. It is not bad at all. I feel like it should need something more expensive to make it feel more special. Uh, the bots themselves do require components. Although they're not that bad either. Like, the combat bot requires silver. The crew bot requires iron, nickel, silicon. Repair bot, iron, nickel, cobalt, silicon. And scavenger, iron, nickel, silicon. And, well... But for still reiteration not of the combat, it's iron, nickel, silicon, gravel, and silver. And is it like yeah, um, it... 10 grand a pop per bot? Yeah. Yeah. Or... It might be five or some, but hang on, let me just... Um, I think my cargoes are almost full. Got almost two million... Well, almost 2,000 tons of ice mined. But I kind of want to do something that's going to be potentially dangerous, but still going to do it. Check something. I want to do this. Thanks, Havald. Thank you for the prime sub. Hey, gamey. Gamery. Whoops. <laughs> That's you. Uh, what have you missed so far? Not, not a great deal. Hey. We've mostly been trying to organise the things that we ignored at the end of last week because we were too, well, having too much fun blowing stuff up. No. Oh well, I. Tr what did you try doing? I tried making a capac, but he turned into a drone. There has been an accident. 
He ran out of clone juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Don't really mm -hmm. want to think about that. How much did it cost? Oh. Uh, did we bring cobalt over to the the mining thing? Uh, yes, we got some cobalt over here. Sure. I'm just trying to build another large cargo onto the miner so that I can do more at once. Because I've managed to fill this thing. And I'm like, well, maybe we should do more. Yeah. And with me building the O2H2 gens on the outside of the rover rig, I actually created enough space that I could put cargo containers out there as well. It's so just going to grow, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no. Eventually, it will dwarf the ice lake and then we'll realize that I can't get it out of the valley and we'll just leave it here. And then we'll make it so that it crawls along the surface by itself, slowly eating away at the snow that's there. Oh yeah, I could do that. Wait, no, I, no, wait, stop. Oh, actually, no. Go for it. Make it automated, I dare you. Well, you I keep taking you. over all the automation jobs. Because I am an automation nut. I love automation. Yeah, well, you didn't, you, you said you didn't want to do the vanilla thing and now you don't want to... Like if you, if you want me to do some automation, I'll do some automation. But you just no, you're just do. automatically too quick at automating things. I am automatically too quick at automating things. Yeah. What is that for sentence? <laughs> what is because that for I sentence? Love <laughs> I love yes. that. That's your reply. <laughs> you're a native speaker. You don't have an excuse. <laughs> I'm Australian. I got plenty of excuses. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Thanks, Brady Bell. Thank you for 28 months. Okay, um, I need your advice with the AI box. It needs to be above the connector, right? And Move directly in line. Directly in line as in... Yeah, over the middle of it. And so... Imagine putting a cross through the connection point. It needs to sit over the intersect of those two lines. Oh, so, yeah, okay. No, I was just making sure that I knew what you were talking about. But which AI block was that which needed that? Was it the recorder or the flight recorder? I think it's the recorder. I tend oh, to put yeah, both I'm pretty sure close to there anyway. It can yeah. manage It can manage without it, but it is more reliable if you put it there. Mm-hmm. Especially if we are going to have a mobile grid that it needs to connect to, we need it to be as persistent yep. as possible. Yep, yep, yep. Because I have made a drone before that does fly out to another, well, mobile ship. With success. If we don't count it smacking into my solar array at main base. <laughs> well, that is a moving story. grid, so... Yeah, but that's not really something it was capable of dodging unfortunately because no. I did have the solar thing so it was quite fun to see a drone being smacked out of the air by a solar panel but <laughs> just getting fly spotted yeah basically <laughs> uh, yes surprise mechanic um, it is the new series I started yesterday on my on my YouTube channel um, is indeed using my scrapyard mods I've been wanting to do a proper series on that since I did the test series here on Twitch. And it is great fun to play as well. It is, I really enjoy that way of playing. I know it's if, too slow for a lot of people, away. but I really enjoy it. Well, it's slow, but it does provide extra challenge, which makes up for the slowness of it. Yeah, the goal is for it to be engineering heavy. Indeed. Hmm. 
something right around here. Although I do have to say, I did have my first visit of Clang today. It was, um, hungry. It may or may not have eaten one of my grids, partially. Mm. That's no good. It was recoverable, but I did lose my gyro, which I am a little bit saddened by. I was attached to that gyro. And uh, well, I would hope so. I should. Yeah, not being attached <laughs> you're not to very a gyro useful wouldn't... if you're not attached. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nuka World. Yes, indeed. Being the descendant of a convict, um, and, you know, all the sun we get to experience here, surely that's an excuse for not, not Englishing properly. Sounds about right. Uh, it does amuse me, the number of, um, North Americans who tell me off for my pronunciations of things. How do you not pronounce things the American way? Well, I don't know that it's necessarily Americans, because like American Canadian pronunciation of a lot of things, except for like boat and about, tends to be quite similar. Yeah, fair. So, you know, as I don't know where these people are from, I just know that they're North American. I try not to cast aspersions. Do I have interior plates? No, of course I don't. But I did provide myself with cargo axes. Hey, Neron! The one that seems to irk the most people is when I say data, instead of data. But it's the same. Uh, depends who, I mean, now they're going to complain about you, Shadow. <laughs> then I'll just play my I'm not a native speaker card. <laughs> Let them. I'm Dutch. Leave me with my delicious baked goods. Uh. What were we talking about delicious uh, baked goods last week? There's a sentient spark welding up my cargo container. Oh! It's <laughs> right. It's the bolt. Thank you, Kappa. Oh. Electron? Ah, Wait, how did you hurt you yourself? Hear hear oh no, my drills are full. Okay, maybe calling the only bot we have, Capac, was a bad omen. Yeah. Maybe you should have That's named it after one of your birds. So it would fly into your face yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Exactly. I figured your birds would do something silly. Yeah, it's either just standing on one leg all puffed out with the feathers, like, or flying in your face. Or, in, when it comes to Grey One, crashing, because he cannot fly all too well, unfortunately. He well. often makes an emergency landing on the ground. And then looks at you all confused, like... Why am I here? What happened? It was meant to be up there. Yeah. Why am I here? Yeah. My wings lied to me. But I do love them. They are wonderful birds. Even if they do yell all day, every day. We don't have any power kits, do we? How do I pronounce Sata? I'm sorry, what? Uh, as in, um, Serial ATA. It's Serial ATA, isn't it? That's what it stands for. I can't remember what ATA stands for. Well, how about LG? Are you one who says LG or LG? Um. LG. Hard G. It feels weird 
hearing you call it a hard G, because that is something entirely different in a, well, in Dutch. Well, it's the G versus the J sound. It's the GIF versus GIF thing. Oh, don't get us started on that now. <laughs> oh, no. All I know with that is the creator of GIFs is wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, he is absolutely wrong. Wrong or a troll. It's got to be one of the two. I hope for him that he's just trolling. Oh, uh, I mean... True. You can be wrong and a troll. I mean, usually trolls are wrong. But is that what would make you right? Thanks, Marathi. Welcome, Raiders. And I agree with Nev. GIF is peanut butter and GIF is an image format. Oh, well, GIF peanut butter doesn't exist here. It also doesn't exist here, but it's You see enough well Americans known. post the picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much the same here. That's why I know of it, but have never actually seen it. Although I did see a funny video earlier today where somebody was feeding it to a cow and that cow was enjoying it, like just licking the man even though the GIF was gone. It wanted more. Or a guy was cow? covered in peanut Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. That doesn't surprise or a guy me. was covered in peanut butter. Afterwards. Which the cow did not seem to mind. I've been to my um my sister's property a few times when they've had potty calves and dang, when cows are hungry, they are hungry. Hmm. I mean, they put on a lot of weight pretty quickly, so it makes sense. Oh, I do want to pet a cow someday again. Hole punch truck. Yeah, accurate. This is a hole punch truck. Yeah. Slowly perforating the ice lake. Um, also, slightly leaning to one side, because I've got an almost full large cargo container of ice on that side that I do not have on the other side. Oh, <laughs> I'm fine. I feel like Shadow's going to be um, concerned by what I've done to this when she gets here, because it is a bit lopsided. I mean, something we can do is set up Izzy's with type balancing, so it will balance the containers, if you'd like something like that. Uh, it doesn't really help when one side has the containers and the other side doesn't. Well, that's just a design flaw now. Come on. Well, yeah, that's what I was pointing out. Ah, and of course you put it to the side where there's the giant hole. Yeah, why so we if put you it were on the to side that didn't tip over, you are going to fall in a hole. Yeah, it's called living on the edge. You are one special snowflake. <laughs> I run my own race. Right. It's uh, not a race, it's a stunt show. <laughs> okay, fair. I, I don't have a retort to that. Uh, right. Where did I do this? On the other side. Where's the middle? Middle is there. Also, don't worry, Kanita. Splitsy actually notices when he gets raided. He's not Kappa. Yeah, that's why I already mentioned. Indeed. I will admit, it is sometimes quite difficult to keep track of everything that's happening during my Underground Alone streams. <laughs> well, Because there okay. are so I... many notifications of things happening that I lose track of which ones I've actually said something about. Yeah, but also it's a very hectic game mode that is mostly caused by Twitch as well. Yeah, but Which I definitely missed up, a few so. of those last week. I feel like you are excused for <laughs> that one. Thanks. Uh-oh, uh-oh, something's not right here. Ah. 
Huh? Am I falling in the hole? No? Okay. Just looked like the whole vehicle was tilting and tilting back and tilting and tilting back. I'm like, am I falling in the hole? The answer? No, I'm not, thankfully. Good. Yeah. So I'm not saving you from yet another hole. I do, however, have <laughs> 3.4 thousand tons of ice. Rookie numbers. We need more. Alright, working on it. Um... Oh, actually, you need more because you're the one throwing it at the enemy. Yeah. Let's wait till we're needing to do this level of production with magnesium. Ooh. Yes, please. And I see you are the one who wants to set up the industry for that. Speaking of... Uh, speaking of um, <laughs> mean missing things in chat, I got another stand-up. Up goes the desk. I did a lot of walking while carrying Toby yesterday. So I'm like, uh -huh, I don't want to stand up. Well, you can always disable the command. Yeah, Why did I jump but... backwards? But that, that feels like cheating. Mm -mm. Oh, it's sundown already. It's only 5 p.m. locally. That Ooh. is quite beautiful. Did you just squeak? I just hiccuped. So yes. Oh. <laughs> Squeaksy. In a few years, to have Toby will be walking me. Um. <laughs> not sure that? about that. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be walking, but I don't think he'll be walking me. I think, yeah, I think that'll take a after him. little while. Yeah, I'll be running after him, trying to keep up. Yeah. Which is part of the reason why I walk him now. It's actually been really good for my general fitness. Um, carrying a 12 kilo backpack as I walk around, going up all the hills around here. Uh, it's actually turned out really well. <laughs> uh, how many recorder blocks do you want? And uh, need one for each end. Oh, two. Well, one for each direction, I should say. And I'll make... There we go. Uh, I'll do the naming later. Uh, right. I think I have to wait for this cargo container, because I am what? very, very full. What? Why what don't do we have... What? 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 We don't have detective components. I thought we set that up in auto crafting. It's pretty easy for that stuff to be missed. Because I. Like, unless you're scrapping stuff that has them, I don't often have them just lying around. I found a, a few war detectors to. Oh, at least to the miner. Although. Oh, huh. No, we did. No. Yes? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, my brain tried to update in the middle of that fault. It did not work. Okay. I'll just quickly make a hundred detector components. Why well, not? I am from Australia. Near Sydney. Micro splitsy is now mini splitsy. Yeah, um, Toby's uh, after not doing so well at the weight gain in the in his very early days, he's now doing quite well. I had I had solo dad duties on Saturday when my partner was at work, and then stayed down with. She stayed overnight at her brother's place, um, so I had Toby all to myself for 24 hours, and in that time, I think. I gave him about a litre of milk. 
Wow. Which, considering he's only nine kilos, is a lot. But he just kept wanting more. I'm like, okay, fine. You must be having so a great spot. So at the end, Toby was 10% milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. Oh, oh. Yeah, about one to one. I mean, kids at that age, if they're hungry, you just feed them. Because if they're hungry, they need that, it. Yeah. Exactly. And that was I'm on top of all the it. solids that he's eating, too. Wow. Hungry boy. I feel like I can relate, because um, when I had my growth spurt in high school, I would happily sit there and eat two large pizza pizzas and then go for McDonald's afterwards. Whoa. I'm living my life wrong, apparently. <laughs> yeah, just have a growth spurt. Just, unfortunately, after a certain age, the only way you can spurt is sideways. Yeah. I feel like I might have uh, surpassed my spurt. Yes, Nev, when you're hungry now, you feed me. However, there is there is a thing with adults and older people where we're not so good at detecting when we're hungry versus when we're bored. And have a tendency to eat regardless. Yeah, I feel that, especially in the winter days. Very hard yeah. to tell whether I'm just trying to warm up somehow because I do like to make myself a warm snack every now and then, now and again, or if I'm just just bored. It's a battle. Indeed, indeed. I find it really I'm hard if I'm to... sitting down watching a movie or TV because I don't have anything to occupy my hands, so I want food to occupy my hands. Oh, you need a little stress ball. Wait, well, yeah. That was really useful to me. Um, <laughs> during my first degree uh, at uni, I broke my finger. And... What? How? How? Crashed a motorbike. Yeah. Into a oh, metal pole. Oh, yeah, okay. Was your finger the only thing you broke? Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Continue. Um, yeah, so I broke my finger and um, it was really quite nice having a... It was like this putty for building strength back up in my hand. And playing with that during the lectures was great. Because it kept my hands occupied <laughs> so I could pay more attention. I imagine the lecturers weren't too... Uh, were probably a little bit annoyed by this guy sitting there with fluorescent green putty just playing with it. <laughs> but I was doing my rehab. Yeah. You know, I would always play with a pen and also a um I completely forgot the name for it. The measuring stick. What is its proper name? Ruler? Ruler, that's the one. I would always play with pens and rulers and erasers. My teachers did not really enjoy the fact. <laughs> yeah. I got singled out during one lecture um, where, so obviously riding a motorbike to uni, I was, and I'd been gifted a replica jacket, leather jacket by my brother. Um, I was in a, as many of you know, I worked in, why don't my drills go up? Very interesting working location. I worked in healthcare. Why am I drill stuck? Uh, quickly in between, Gamery. Um, I might play Enshrouded in the future, but as of right now, I am still heavily focused on Hell World, especially now that I'm very close to the end. Huh. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so sitting there in a lecture theatre, which I was too tall for the rows, so I would sit sitting across a couple of seats with my friends in the row behind me. So whenever we were in between lectures, we could all talk. 
but I was also comfortable enough that I could fit. Because, man, these... This was like being on a... For the Australians in the audience, Jetstar flight. But worse. Um, for the... Americans, I imagine it's like Spirit. And for the Europeans... Uh, is it Jet Blue? Is that the terrible one? The UK? One of those. Easy Jet. Ryanair. One of them. Yeah. Oh, Easy Jet. Yeah, there oh, we actually, go. Easy I jet. say that, but it wasn't that bad when I flew Easy Jet. Easy Jet is also the only airplane I've flown in. Oh, flown? Flown. But, yeah. It... Um, yeah, nope. so that tight, so I was kind of sitting sideways, wearing a big leather jacket with smoking advertising on it, because it was a replica jacket from the early 90s. In a healthcare Ooh. degree. Oh. No. no. I... I think it had, um... A brand that doesn't actually exist in Australia, though. But I... Yeah. I wore it because it was really good protection. And it was a nice-looking jacket. And it was a gift. Yeah. Uh, but... So I'm wearing that, sitting across several seats, and because I needed to occupy my hands to concentrate, the only thing I had was my water bottle. So oh. I was just gently... what, tipping the water back and forth. Making sure I didn't make any noise, but... Still just sloshing it back and forth in the bottle. And, uh... The lecturer rightly assumed I wasn't paying any attention. Asked me a question. I answered it immediately. <laughs> they were very surprised. And looked a bit miffed that I'd been able to answer it. I'm like, I thought I had him! I thought I had him! That is always so funny when teachers expect you to not pay attention and then you give them the right answer and they just stand there for a moment letting it process like... That student knows stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. actually, that I do have a fun story. Like when we were flying to London, um, I had to sit next to my German teacher, and on the flight to London, he lectured me like, "Oh, you shouldn't be on your phone. You should look out the window." Whilst I was on the middle seat, so I couldn't see the window anyway. And basically got mad at me. And on the flight back, he fell asleep. His head on my shoulder. I felt so awkward. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I, I was so tempted to wake him up and say, like, you shouldn't be asleep. You should just look out the window. It's beautiful. Because arguably it was. But, um, that was a very awkward situation for me to be in because I was yeah, very I socially you. awkward at the time. And I wasn't that great in German, so the teacher didn't really like me anyway. But I just let him sleep. Oh, Kanita, if you think me socially awkward now, then you have no idea how I used to be. I couldn't even talk up in a class. And also, previous streams, I would barely talk. And Which now you're I'm... infected and can't stop talking. Yeah, it's hashtag great. blame Splitzy. <laughs> because so. it honestly is your fault that I am more confident in my social capabilities. Good. I accept this blame wholeheartedly. This is not and... a hashtag blame cat pack. I and happily seriously... take full responsibility. And seriously, and I'm thank very you pleased. For that. So Shadow, can you see my stream right now? I can. If you have um, harvested the ice crops. Yeah. Do you notice You're that the vehicle sideways. doesn't look... Yeah. I've been driving straight and I haven't steered one. Like, I didn't steer until I noticed that it had started turning to the other side. I started steering the other way to counter it. I don't know what's making me turn. Maybe the ice you're driving on and the weight that has shifted, so you're yeah, leaning more towards one side. Could be, I might have had more friction, but it still shouldn't... Because it's, you are leaning to the right steer. and your cargo container is to the right. It seems a bit too coincidental. It, it does, I'll admit that. And I will also acknowledge Glitch's comment that this is straighter than I would uh, harvest in Farming Sim. <laughs> 
But, but you left a row. You forgot a row. <laughs> I, I can't I can't deny that this is true. But still doing better than farming sim, that's true. Oh right, I'm building a thing. Okay. Well now that I've finished this row, I will attempt well almost finish this row. I will attempt to uh connect up to the base, I guess. Oh, I really wanted to finish a the rope completely because it's so hard to line up and do a bit that's already been done. Just add another container. Yeah, it just takes so long to make parts. Yeah, it will also take long to align again. True. Alright, I'll cancel what I'm up to. I'll make the stuff for another large cargo container. Yay! I can do convincing! I'm also going to queue up a whole bunch of O2H2 gen components so they can be made when I'm not here. Hmm. I think it's time for me to make a little construction platform. Working on a drone is quite difficult when I am at risk of falling to my death. It doesn't help me focus. Scaffolding is usually a decent place to start. Uh, oh, that's well, it might be, but yeah. Oh, um, you know, just suggesting things. Don't really care which. Don't have a horse in the race. Don't care which way you go with it. Um. So where's Don't tell me he's already gotten himself killed. Who? The drone. <laughs> Is that all your money gone then? Yeah. Yep. I'm a bit too accurate to the real capac. <laughs> did it? Did it even get any work done? It welded up a container from what I saw, so it did one thing. Can't say it was worth ten grand though. <laughs> yeah. I have room for speed modules on the assembler. Do I? Where did I put the assembler on this? Can anyone remember? Is it in the middle? I have an idea. I don't remember where I put it. Oh, it's there. Okay. Yeah, alright. You know what? Yep. Yeah, no, Capac got himself killed. Ah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Darn it. Ah. Uh, I'll rip my money. Well, that's. You get what you pay for? Yeah, I should have had some sandwiches ready to go. How slow is this going to be? It was a robot, so it should be cookies. Don't you mean computer chips? Come on. Make me eat stuff. Only if you ask nicely. Oh. Oh. I see. Oh? Uh, apparently, build info, when it calculates the stuff for how much cargo you have to show on your hotbar, includes incomplete cargo containers. Oh. I was like, why do I have space in my cargo when the drills are still full? It's because my cargoes aren't built yet. I'm trying to build speed modules first. Right. 
Where are the tank components from coming from? What tank components? You mean for the catapult? Also doesn't include connectors. Huh. The more you know. Yeah. Ow! Ah! Suddenly everything went dark and I started taking damage. Ah. Delightful. Yep. I thought I was being claimed by the darkness. I just ran out of energy. Okay. Those computers are going to take a while. That's going to be annoying. But, mainly waiting on computers now. My tanks are full, which means I can't process any more ice. Which means I'm just waiting on these assembler, the speed module parts so that I can make the assembler go faster so that then I can fill up these cargo containers, drive back over to that little base, and have so much hydrogen that we can lob so many bombs that we can obliterate all of the enemies that lie in our path. Sounds good to me. Yeah. What are the non-vanilla components? Uh, these are for making bots. These are for selling to... Traders, I imagine, the civilian products. Is that correct, Shadow? Yes. Um, and these other components are things that make certain blocks more restricted than they would otherwise be. Yes, all of the enemies that lag in my path. And all of the bots that die along the way. All the murder. Murder. I don't know why, but that apparently made my throat hurt. Just hearing you do that. Murder. That better? What? Also, Batman, you lunatic! <laughs> Thank you so much for the 20 gift subs! No. That's for 190 all up. Dang, man. Thank you so much. Hooray, I have a speed module. Now hopefully that can make making the next speed module faster. Yay. Hooray, victory is mine. Uh, you appear to have a little something in your throat. It's fine now. Mm. <laughs> Why does it make me so uncomfortable? <laughs> uh, blame Disney. You're the one doing it. <laughs> no, blame Disney for why a high-pitched voice makes you uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. No, it's you doing that which is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, is it making you think of the Elmo head? No, but now I am thinking about it. I'm Elmo. Uh, okay, how do I mute on TeamSpeak? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you, Gadget. Next time. Oh, so, I need a white fluffy one? cat. Like an, oh, I need a chair. white fluffy cat too, but for other reasons. I, I need a fluffles. The and only cat like warmer. The only cats I have are dead cats. Ah. Uh, it's um, it's a term uh, for the little windsock covers that you put on microphones. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't make it better. <laughs> Yeah, they're called dead cats. Oh. There are some things I do not wish to know. <laughs> I've just come to realize. I'm 
I'm sure that's one of the uh, least offensive names of things used in that industry. I want to ask, but uh, no, no, just, just no. Oh, I'm just making assumptions. I do not know and have deliberately kept myself aloof to some of the other terms used in the industry. Okay, good. Also, I'm starting to really like the look of this thing. That's... I need to. Have... Oh, is this this your platform for building your drone so that the drone can take components to the catapult and back? Yes. Gotcha. Just checking I had the order of operations correct. Wow. Are you saying I get distracted quite often? Yes, yes. Yes, I do. We both do. That's why we make so much progress in this scenario. <laughs> That's fair. why we, we, have, are... we have how many bases? <laughs> A few. <laughs> how many bases and how much combat have we managed? I'm yes. perfectly okay with this. I'm not complaining. I just want to make that no, perfectly no, clear. No, no, me neither. I am, I not am very happy with the way we're doing things, right? <laughs> yeah. If we were to properly focus on a scenario, where would we be now? We'd probably be burnt out because we feel like we've done everything already, or we'd be in Stone Age again. <laughs> yeah, we'd have built more bases because we've gotten ourselves destroyed. <laughs> Very accurate. <coughs> oh, really, Skizzers Wolf? The tiny ones are called dead kittens? Oh. Huh? That means I've got dead. That means I've got dead kittens, not dead cats, because I've got I've only got the tiny ones for my um, oh. road uh, lav mics. Oh, my heart! Oh, why did they choose those names? But probably for that exact person. reason. Yeah, that is another val very valid point. We probably would not have a catapult. I do love that Captain Arthur was here last week when we were talking about the catapult and whether that was felt to be a legit tactic. <laughs> and his response was, yes, this is 100% fine. I have no plans of changing anything to make this an illegitimate tactic. Like, didn't we talk, like, during that stream, like, we should probably yeah. ask the author whether <laughs> this should be a good thing, and then suddenly author appears? <laughs> is um, reassuring that his perspective on what is fun gameplay is uh, matched. Mm -hmm. Matches our expectation. Oh, that's oh I should have built those speed modules ages ago. Oh, how are my batteries doing on this? Also, if I turn on my inertia dampers, I get a wacky horse right, right? Oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, a nuke world. <laughs> I mean, um, given some of the things I know of some of the nicknames of military equipment, I can't deny. Never ask for the nicknames of military equipment. The military is the biggest daycare in the world, so the names are infantile. Mm. Ooh. Oh, don't worry, James. The symmetry is already non-existent on this thing. Because there's stairs there. No stairs there. Stairs there. That's it, I'm ready. No ratings. stairs there. No assembler there. <laughs> there are quite a few things that are asymmetrical on this. Uh, which probably makes it worse that I keep trying to do things symmetrically because it means it makes those few things that are asymmetrical more obvious. You monster. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I finished the cargo. That means I can now extend that.
Oh, I need construction components. This is going to be great. We're going to have so much ice, we're not going to have to do this mining again for quite some time. You mean you aren't going to need to do that mining for a while? Same thing. You, me, oh. we. Doesn't really matter who's doing it as long as <laughs> we just know that we're gonna have to wait for it. Alright, make stuff for 20 O2H2 generators. I guess what I should do as well is probably think about putting hydrogen more hydrogen tanks on this thing. Uh, where's my set of yeah. stairs up to the top? There. Oh. What's that part? And we'll go around. I guess I could probably put, yeah, four extra hydrogen tanks on this at some point. Maybe that'll be the next trip. I think this is enough of an upgrade for this trip. Hello, eggs in this basket. <laughs> yes. Yes, all our eggs are in this one basket. I am both excited for and terrified of uh, the prospect of us being put on the back foot with the enemies that we face. Oh, so? Well, I'm excited for it because, well, it'll force the two of us to play a bit differently to how we are. But I'm also concerned about it because I'm enjoying the way that we're playing. <laughs> ah, it'll be fine. If anything, we have a reason to just make a lot of drones so we can play the way we're playing right now. Ah. Combat fleet. Indeed. Make a hive. In fact, I have a beautiful blueprint of a uh, Minecraft bee if we do want to make a proper hive. <laughs> you're, you're toying with fate there, Shadow. Talking about building beehives. I'm sure it'll never get finished. Well, oh, that's where you're going. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Wow. <laughs> but how about the mansion of yours, huh? That also never got finished. It's true. We don't talk about that one. That's because the beehive didn't get finished first. It... <laughs> that's it. I'm putting you into an offer Minecraft game sometime. And then I am going to build a beehive, and I am going to finish it. This, I swear. <laughs> uh, don't worry. You can't be a real content creator until you've planned a whole bunch of things that you never quite finish to the level that you expect, but you have to move on because... Well, you have to. Ah, uh, yes, Core. Um, I'm sure catapults are really effective anti-aircraft weapons. I'm not really sure how we would manage to get anti-aircraft weapons on anything right now when we don't have magnesium. That's one also, of the bingo, bingo. cards! <laughs> I actually was going to get the bingo card maker, but... <laughs> Wait, hang on. Hang on! Well, we need like 25 different things, don't we? Man, I, I think I did make something. And then we need to randomize them so each person has a different bingo card. Oh, it doesn't use cookies to save my inputs. No! Oh yeah, 24 items, that's right. Yeah, I found a bingo card maker that had nine. Oh, right. So isn't that just bin? Yes. Or ngo?
I'll have to make that one later. No, I... Hang on, I don't want to minimize your stream. I need to see what shenanigans you get up to. Uh, An eye on this guy. Less, less shenanigans. More... Surprisingly productive. Uh-huh. And now to drive this almost seven kiloton bomb around to lock on, lock onto the base. Right. Good luck. You're welcome. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna need much luck. You better not blow up my connector. I'm not worried about blowing up the whole thing. This is gonna be a vanilla drone. How much thrust do you think I should give it, like forwards, backwards? Much. Much? Much. Then much it will have. Uh, honestly, I, I find it hard to, more than you would want as a player, but not so much that it easily overshoots its mark. So, I like a lot of thrust on my ships. I like to be very nimble, so I don't think I want the AI to have that much. Oh. Maybe, maybe our levels of thruster building are different. I'm a little more conservative, I imagine. Well, I, I suppose for me it does mostly depend on what type of ship I'm going for. Like, the ship I have made right now has way too much thrust. Well, okay, I say way too much, but two thrusters in forwards, backwards. Mobile enough, but not as nimble as I would like it to be for an exploration vehicle. Yeah. Hey, drink just, some coffee. Hello. Just build, just build what you think is reasonable, yeah. and then we'll find out if it works. Yeah, fair. Uh, yeah, Dark Crow, I am continuing the recently restarted st starter videos. I have designed a miner that I think is suitable for new players, and I will hopefully record the video showing how to build it this week. Took me a while to get a miner that I was happy with. Uh, I'm going to turn those off because I don't think I want to scrape the top of the ice lake and make this hard to drive on. You don't? I don't think I do. What? Uh, would it not be easier to go lengthways across this ice lake? No. Given that I got... I had to build four extra cargo containers just to complete that one pass. Uh, it's much better to go the shorter directions. Because that way I can complete the pass and then start a fresh one on the next time we need to drill. At least that was my logic behind it. I'm sure others would find logical arguments for doing things different ways, but that's that's what made sense to me. It splits. We don't do logical. I guess, um, illogical makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean, I can figure out what Kapak's saying half the time, so. That does take a certain level of crazy, yes. Also, many decades of experience. I am so sorry to hear that. Come on. Turn. Alright, let's flick this thing over and hope I'm aligned. Well, 
out of motors. Oh, don't tell me we're out of nickel. Oh, bunk. Ah, uh, no, we so still close. have some. Mm. Also, it feels really weird seeing our ingots chest with iron, silicon, cobalt, nickel, and uranium. <laughs> no gold, no silver, no magnesium. Yeah. Just uranium. <laughs> Feels so unnatural. It does feel strange. Also, no gravel. But that's not something um, I'm too happy with. Hey! It's under stress, but I can lock. Done. Uh, the uh, the drone should be heading home with some fuel shortly, so you can go mine that Yay. nickel you need. Oh, well, technically you need. Uh, yes. This is true. Ooh. I will follow the drone home. I hope it doesn't crash because it's run out of battery while it's been sitting there. It should automatically return home and it has too little power. Oh, okay. That's and good. it does have plenty of batteries. Like, if yeah, flight from see it's got uh, I think it's 96%. So, 4% usage. Yeah, from the side I was on, I could only see the off little... Uh, indicators of how much power there was. I'm like, hmm. Considering that base doesn't have any power. Yeah, no, don't worry. I built my drones to last. No! Just not your uh, automation bots? There was no saving a cat back. Valid. Could I radio in and check? I could, but I'd have to get out of my seat. Let's now not let me stay check the batteries. Into that. It right. has. Drone has arrived. Three hours of power remaining. Good, good. Uh, I'm going to go check uh, the catapult and see how much fuel it's got. Because I may need to bring it back to get fuel. Uh, yeah. Make sure you get an angle reference again. Well, I've got the GPS location of where it's at, so I can just yeah, e edit but you that might to want... give me the heading. I can write it on the name of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you can use the GPS. Nah, the hydro rover wouldn't crash the server. If the if the wrong way up collision going from planet to planet didn't crash the server, we don't have to worry about crashing the server. <laughs> and it had aerodynamics as well. It did. Although one of the planets didn't have its atmosphere because things went weird and it could only calculate one atmosphere in each location at a time. Oh. Yeah, that was something I had not accounted for. That's not something you would account for, I'd imagine. No, not typically. Oh, 
I wish survival symmetry were a little thing. All the way over here and I gotta fly all the way back because I brought the wrong vehicle with me. Good job. Should have brought my welder. What happened to the missile project? Um, the missile project got upgraded to the catapult whoa, project. Whoa, 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 whoa. Game? Game. I, I yes. need you to calm down. This is very important. Shadow dented the near miss. It just got its brain fried, it's fine. Speaking of brain, um, do we want a remote control on the- well, we do need a remote control on the drone. Unless you want to have a cockpit to set up the route. Um. Whichever you want to do, I don't mind. Cockpit's usually easier. Okay. Heavier, but and easier. Cockpit it is. I mean, heavy shouldn't matter with this thing. I can compensate for it. And to be fair, you'll be, I assume, driving it empty. For the yes. One would think. What the the world uh... Eh, yeah, I reckon I can survive this. Sounds of Shadow's disappointment when it proves to be true that I could survive that. I wasn't trying to voice it. <laughs> Sounds of silence. So hoping for that skull. Yeah. Maybe one day. Definitely one day. Uh, where is Catapult? Where? Oh, there. It's right in line with the Loris base one. Whoa! Hello, drone. <laughs> I thought it was crashing into my other drone. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, it's, it's going to do a lot of trips, because there's a lot of hydrogen there. Uh-huh. Oh, that scared me. Oh, they got me good. Uh, Kenny, since the... Since the save was something that had transitioned from version to version to version to version, uh, I didn't think there would be much use for... For, um... Rocket Works to take a look at the save. And if there had have been, I felt pretty confident that um that Dean would have contacted me anyway if he if he thought it was worth looking at. Spitzy has contacts. Oh I saw it, yeah. There's a ridiculous amount of crossover in the types of games that <laughs> Dean Hall likes to make and the ones that I like to play. AKA, you're a fan of his work? Well, Station is Icarus, and once they rebuild from scratch the engine, um, out of the rail. Survival games, engineering games, and... Um, transport tycoon it. games. Oh. Also trains. Yeah, exactly. Trains. I like trains. I know you do. Oh wait, one more dot. Okay. Time to drive on home. Probably did have enough hydrogen here to throw a few more bombs, but I think um 
think it makes sense oh, oh, at this stage while um, we're waiting for stuff to transfer to go get more. What's wrong? Is this a bad time to say that my ship was just sitting on the thing, not connected to anything? The hydrogen drone? No, my little transport vessel. I'm confused. What's happened? It, is my little ship still on the deck of the rover? No, it hasn't been on the rover for ages. You flew it home. I oh, know it no, is I still flew on my the deck. Home. It is still <gasps> on the deck, yes. Oh. <laughs> Could you do me a favor and connect it to the ship? Nope. Before. Oh. It died. I just tried what? to stop, and in breaking, it smashed into my gyroscopes and it's dead. No! My poor little thing. Oh. Whoopsie. Uh, that was a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Now I have a loose gyroscope. Oh. Is there anything left to salvage at the very least? Inventory. And there were a couple of locks. Inventory. Mm. I said whoops. Isn't that enough? No. <laughs> I was attached to that thing. Oh man, it broke the connection. Well then you should have attached it to other things. How? We were supposed to fly back home. Just keep in mind that that thing helped you as well. It's true. It's dead now, though. Hmm. Oh, I only have more incentive to do what I'm doing. Inventory full. Uh, where's my ladder? Uh, that's true, Glitch. The irony is that if Shadow hadn't mentioned it, then Splitzy wouldn't have braked then, but I would have braked at some point. So there was a degree of inevitability to that. But if, if Shadow hadn't have mentioned it, I would have been surprised by what on earth just exploded and why as I tried to come to a stop. There. Which kind of would have been funny. Sorry, Shadow, I had no idea that was there mm. <laughs> until you said something. Sure, sure. Nah, it's fine. It's something I can easily rebuild. Just a little bit sad that I don't have a blueprint of it. Ah. Uh. But then again, I do have my uh, platform that I can transfer into oh, transfer. That I can uh, make something like that again. Yep. Uh, I can't fix the conveyor that got destroyed because I don't have the parts to fix it. I have to fix it when I get home. Hmm, how to finish the back end. Also, how many thrusters am I going to need? I have two medium cargo containers and one large cargo. Do you think three large downward thrusters is going to be enough? Um... Yes. I mean, you probably don't need the medium cargos, to be honest. Probably replace They're... them with batteries. I already have four. Because my welder ship only has the one large cargo, and it does all right supplying this thing. Well, it might not be exclusively for the probables parts. Oh, like, yeah, if fair you want to do an upgrade, we can if you dose as well. Basically, I'm just trying to be lazy with this drone by not having to fly towards your location. And you need my help. Oh, oh. Wow. It's like that, huh? Yeah. I mean, you know me. I like automation. This is just another excuse. Oh, that's not going to be nice. Yep. Correct. That is not going to be nice. Oh, it's special cargo. Huh? 
Okay, so let's see. Thank you, Papa. Ah. Uh, I do not want to put my thrusters on because I've got plenty of propulsion from my wheels. <laughs> I do not need to be going faster. Do you remember? Oh, wait. I remember where the connector is. It's around the far side of the base. Great. Yeah, oh, no, it's it is this side. Right there. I told you. Right there. Ah, no. No, 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 no. I need to remember. I swear, if I hear a blammo, things... you're going to go blammo. <laughs> I need to remember that on things where I'm planning on, um, uh, adding subgrids, I really should put my con my control seat at the back. Because it is really hard to get a camera view where I can see what the heck I'm doing. Especially with my own welder ship on my roof. Off the cockpit. That is... no... Close. You're about half a block away. Yeah, keep going. There you go. And look at Boop the snoot. Hold on. Okay, now I can repair the damage that your ship caused. Are you sure you want to put it like that? Do you know what <laughs> type of raft that will incur upon you? Uh, there's a part of me that says, yes, I really do know, want to put it that way. <laughs> And there's another part of me that says, have I poked the bear too much today? And then there's the mm -hmm. final part of me that's just like, I don't know. Do it anyway and find out. Scale difference. The scale difference when you see large grid next to small grid is really nuts when you go and look for mobile stuff. Like, our semi trailer, the Abominus Prime, is a big small grid thing. But that still makes it tiny for large grid because these are. Oh, wait, these are 5x5 five five wheels I built on this, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So these are 5x5 five five wheels, so they're big. And each wheel is as big as the front end of that thing. The scale gets very weird. Yeah, it is quite awkward. Well, I mean, when you think about large grid being literally five times the size. What? It's... 125 times the volume. What? Why is that connector access denied? That's weird. Why would it be access to nine? I, I would grind it down to hack it, but it's connected right now, so I'd rather not. Why would that be no share? I don't know. Why aren't you sharing? I don't know. Sharing is Why caring. Do you suddenly I should hate care. Me? And so I share. Apparently you don't. I, I'm confused. Thanks, Bioshiron. Thank you for the gift sub. Also, why is this not... Pulling stuff from base. Where is broken? Oh, it's broken under here. Oh, 
that drone did a number of things. Or that ship, whatever you want to say. I love how you're blaming my ship for your mistake. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You never told me that the thing was loose until it was so loose that it was too late. This I said it as soon as you said you were going to go. Yeah, but I was already going then. Mm. I was going when you told me. I was on the move. And you don't check or anything like that? Like I wouldn't have expected anything to be loose on the creepy deck. On that creepy deck? Yeah. Fair you enough. know the creepy thing I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Certain man in an orange suit pointing a gun at me. Yeah, it's green now, that's good. Why is only one of our assemblers actually doing anything? I have no idea. We have assembler. Not doing anything. Assembler 2. Not doing anything. Assembler 3. Has all the things. This is not the Frostbite scenario. This is Ares at War, which is a workshop scenario made by Captain Arthur. Seems like it was because they were trying to produce stuff that they can't produce. So I've removed the tier 3 tools and I've removed the ammo from our auto crafting that were there for some reason. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, they really should Usually it should skip over it as well. No, it was putting them in oh. two of the assemblers and the other assembler had all the com other components that we can actually make. Oh, that's what happened. I see. Um, so that's slowed down our production considerably. A little, yeah. Uh. Ow. I jumped down on the bit that had the actual um, blocks instead of voxel. So I got hurt. Good job. Thanks. Do what I can. Apparently you do, yeah. Oh, I was too slow. Huh? Nothing. What did you try to do? Nothing. Oh, right, that opens the door. Oh, I see. I was going to place that as you got out of the bathroom. <laughs> that is adorable. Oh, my goodness. You didn't know that was an option? I didn't, no. Yeah. Oh. Also, I'm stuck. There's still yellow... Conveyors on the catapult? Nope, they are all good, I'm pretty sure.
Maybe that's where Capac went. He just what? went rogue and meant to go to an unknown signal and never came back. Sounds on brand. Huh. Oh, the yellow ones. Sorry, I did miss those. Thank you for letting me know. That would have been annoying to discover later. Indeed. Uh, otherwise, now looks good. Hi, hydrogen drone. Yeah. Meow. Yeah, looks good. Right, okay, my ship should now be charged. Please. Did I put my ship to recharge? Oh, I hope I did. I did. Oof. Okay. Whoa, right. whoa, 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 whoa. The hydrogen drone is a. Um... Hmm. It's Go effective, on, it. but it could be quicker. <sighs> I think the issue is that um, all of this has kind of happened at once, so it didn't have time to just do its thing for a while. Mm hmm. And also, we need more storage on the base. For hydrogen. Yeah. Because no, then we the can just keep the drone going as empty. well. Oh. It didn't manage to fill up the base at all. Because remember, we had no hydrogen on the base, so even your mining ship was empty. Yeah, true. True. Actually, did you ever go get the nickel? I didn't because we just got the hydrogen. Uh, that's not how you spell nickel. There was one too many Ks in there. Uh. Oh yeah, so we are... Oh no, we got 20,000 nickel. We're not we're gonna run out anytime soon. Yeah, but it was low in comparison to the other thing, so I thought like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. maybe I should mine it proactively. Seems reasonable. Also, what do you think of the drone design so far? More importantly, the front. You can see it from there. As we come. That's about... That's going to be the back you're looking at. So where are the lifting thrusters going? On the back. Okay. Yeah. Working on that now. If you don't Seems... notice anything peculiar about the front of the drone. I mean, it looks just... like a... Um... Your fate? Yes. No. My fate. Yeah. It's a skull. No, no, no. I, I was actually thinking it more looks like an elithid. Yeah, that as well, I suppose. <laughs> if you want to look at it like that. <laughs> Zoidberg. Uh, not enough, not enough um, lip fingers to be a Zoidberg. Also the wrong color. Although it would be hilarious to have a drone make the Zoidberg sound whenever it moves out. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. Uh, Shadow, can I take your big hydrogen thing to go collect the hydrogen from the other base? So that Only if you bring it back in one piece. Okay, so batteries are on auto. Hydrogen tanks are empty. That would be a no, I can't do that. Right. How am I going to speed this up? Um, <laughs> what can I do? Thanks, Astra Zengiman. Thank you for just shy of two years. Thank you very much. So Splitzy gets his brain eaten by that ship. Uh, yeah, and then I get turned into squid brain. Or an ornament. That too. Uh, Alright. 
Well, I think we're at this point where the most useful thing I can do is expand this thing. Oh wait, that might have been a mistake. That's so fast. Oh. Yep, that is iron at the end of the line there, yes. This drill has probably drilled as much iron as the wacky glitter drill did. Uh. <laughs> hey, you you were the one who wanted it to be a glitter drill. Glitter, yes. Not that demonic design. I would have thought you'd like a demonic design. Different type of demonic. I like something that can summon clang, not something that's a giant ball of drills. I mean, por que no los dos? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that should get me a little bit more ice, I guess. Yeah, we've got so much material that I don't actually need to extend the weird drill. Uh-oh. Oh no, I made it out. Um... The, the, the glitter drill has to stay. I'm not changing it. I'd be sad if it went. Although, maybe it is actually the easier thing to extend to get more ice. We'll get a whole lot of other stuff we don't need, but we could get more ice. Nah, this one's better. Well, let's bring this back. Oh, let's not put my face in there. It's hard <sighs> to put my face in a thruster. Yes, Vox. Uh oh. No, wait, yes, Elsie. Yes. Yes, that's what it needs. What have you guys done? Tipped off. I might need to redo the top. Oh, I also need to get out of the way. <laughs> Hi, hydrogen drone. to just temporarily give that a rest because I don't know how to add more design to it that would look good. So it's got all the and it's, required bits though? Uh, most of them. It doesn't have downward thrust and it could use more sideways thrust. I see. I know what I can do in the meantime. to first get more steel plates because we have none in our components thing. Yep, because they're all going into the catapult. 
That they are. That they are. Uh, Alex Metal, the hydrogen drone is set up using PAM to be a shuttle. It is indeed just going back and forth. So when at the base, it will leave once it has full battery, regardless of how much hydrogen it has. And when at the ice base, it will leave once it has full hydrogen, regardless of how much battery charge it has. Although I'm fairly certain that it will return to the home position when it goes below 30% of power. But don't quote me on that. This will be good at night. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. What? What? <laughs> That's it. I'm grabbing my miner and I'm getting off this planet. Where'd you go? <laughs> With what hydrogen? <laughs> Did you set your tanks to stockpile? Ah, you did. Oh, <laughs> you lost 5% just in how slow the takeoff was. Bye, Shadow! Bye! Actually, where's the ice lake? Are you going to see if you can transfer some? No, I'm just going to uh, go get some ice. Like that line you can't finish. Ah, right. Yep, yep. Dang it, I needed to stay up there. Hey, Fawato! <laughs> Here, I'll go get some gold, why not? Might as well get some magnesium at this point. Where? How dare you suggest such a thing. I know. If you flew off to get magnesium at this point, I, th I think I'd... I'd I think I'd just be very, very, very sad. <laughs> I know, I know. We've Me made, too. <laughs> we've made so much progress. We're so close to having all the industry we need to make this work without requiring magnesium to wage war. Admittedly, we're not getting war fought back against this, but it's, it's fine. Well, to be fair, I can get the magnesium to prepare to fight back, to defend, but I wouldn't use it as offensive. Nah, I reckon we just gotta we gotta play it as it lies right now. Yeah, Tex, this has been um, something of a mega drill installation, I think. Certainly one of the largest surface mines I've like clear cut surface mines I've built. Over the years. Let's see how those drills go. Like that. Should be alright, I think. Probably won't explode. I like the sound of that. Now, how is the catapult going? How do we intend to defend ourselves? Tuck tail and run. Yep. <laughs> That's our entire plan. That's why the Abominus pra Prime... Abominus Prime... Pram? Abominus Pram? <laughs> what? Abominus, Abominus Pram. Prime is loaded up and ready to go at all times. Okay. Two tanks full and two tanks at 27% now. With the hydrogen. That's probably enough. How are the cargo containers going with their component tree? Uh, that seems to be about right. Guess we'll get more. Eh, I'll just keep pushing these up to silly numbers. 
Also, a quick question. How much cargo can the Abominus Prime actually carry? Um, Quite a bit. Are you thinking of me driving it over there so you can carry ice? No, no, I wouldn't do that to you. Uh, we did it before. It's more that I'm considering like making a secondary smaller cargo vessel. So we both have something to fly in. But of course, your ship will be the oh, uh, ship rover. What, what is at this point? I I'm not sure what you're trying to suggest, Shadow. Another ship. When we leave this planet, a uh, smaller ship that can carry cargo. Well, I would have thought you'd be bringing your welder ship. Or some sort of welder my, apparatus. My atmospheric ship. Uh, I... Well, okay, actually no, you should be bringing your miner, your hydrogen miner. That's what you should be bringing. Well, I can always dock the miner on your thing and have another ship. It just... The, the I know, reason it just I'm feels hesitant, wrong to... The reason I'm hesitant to do what you're suggesting is because um, then we have less reason to do things at the same time together. It's kind of like the whole wrong way up model of things, which is the reason the series was so fun was because we were forced to be on the one facility. As soon as we start having separate bases, separate ships, separate things, you stop actually playing co-op. Yeah, fair. Like... We can also just make a cargo extension for the rover then. Yeah, and the rover's got heaps of cargo. Yeah. Like, I am cons- Oh! <laughs> I almost jumped in a missile hole. Like, but I it's... am considering, like, should we bring components over as well so we don't have to get everything again? Once we're back on Lazuna? But we've got ba our and base on Lazuna. still what we're doing? Yeah, but does it have as many things as it- as we do here um yeah it's pretty it's pretty well equipped mm. yeah i'm pretty confident it's got enough stuff like so the the abominus prime has four large cargo containers and about 10 or 12 mediums so it'll be fine it'll be fine uh, hang on that's and how's our production going? Well, I've loaded up one of the large cargoes with at least twice as much stuff as we had before. Nice. Hold on. Uh, is there still a plan to fire us as well as the hydrogen? Um... The, fa the plan to fire people was more if uh, we were in a position to get, like, TFE or Capac in here to help us. So we had someone else to launch with us. But I think we're probably just going to be blowing up most of that base. Although I guess it make does make some sense to launch ourselves in, because then we get in there quickly and we can try and find the remote control and knock it out fast. Hmm. We didn't survive the landing last time, though, so I'm not sure how we're going to get in there and land. We're going to have to have a custom-built launcher that has a parachute and a battery, which seems expensive. It only needs a small grid battery. True, and if like it's custom-built, it can subgrid. What is that over there? Or we can just build it on a small connect. No, it'd have to be on the merge block. Yeah, so we'd have to subgrid it. It's... Are you littering again? What? The old what blocks, right? That's probably from the original catapult. The tests. We found little bits of uh, random bits uh, all over the place. That'd be from the catapult. Ah, uh, what am I doing? I think I should just go. I can wait for parts to arrive. We've got quite a lot on board. Is the wreckage of my thing there? Or is it long gone? Yeah, the thing that was on the deck. No, that's long gone. 
Oh. I ground down the remains that hadn't exploded oh. on my gyros and conveyor system. Oh. What? Oh, I was hoping to rebuild it from that. No, 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 there was so little left. You, no. No, no. <laughs> it, went, it was obliterated. It was pretty much the flat mo and a couple of the blocks that were attached to it. That's basically what that thing was anyway. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't it, have much bone to it. No, it and it was also dropped like it had fallen through the deck when I accidentally ground the deck instead of it. So it was just on the ground out there somewhere. But I ground it down. Um... Uh, About two seats and a lot of heavy armor. Actually, without the hydrogen tank, because we rode a hydrogen tank in last time, we might not die on a seat. You this go might and require testing. try that first. Yeah. I'm down for testing that. I think having almost three full hydrogen tanks. I'll wait for this hydrogen drone to land this time because it's almost back. And then I'm taking the catapult out. So I think it's time to launch some things got a fair amount of resources on board and I'm actually bringing my welder ship so I can come back and grab more if I run out if things go weird again we get our components deleted thanks Patrick thanks for the probe sub oh um, before you head off could you add a beacon to your ship uh yeah Alright, I can manage that. I also might um, add a oh. connector to the other side so that we don't have to be parked on the roof. Database for us is what I'm missing. Um, I guess I can add here. Yeah, RimWorld style drop pod does seem like it could be fun. If we can make it work. Not exactly sure how I would do that, but... We'll figure it out. I think just, you know, having... Um, Non-deformable blocks and... No hydrogen tank should be enough. Or just while we're in the air, <laughs> try and uh, grind off them. The uh, the merge block, so all we are is a seat. But I think one of us would have to die for that to happen, and I don't think it'd work. There we go. Are you? Getting sim speed drops occasionally? Uh, let me keep the F11 menu up. I haven't been noticing them, but. Yeah. Just some weirdness was just happening then. Alright, the drone has returned. I need to add a beacon because that was the other thing that Shadow said I should do. And I forgot. I got distracted by other things I did. Oh, you getting distracted? Say it isn't so. Inventory full. Yeah. All right, I have a beacon. Or the catapults. And it is called the catapult, the beacon. And okay. I am out of here. Good riddance. Uh, I mean, good luck. So mean. Always so mean. You ground down my beautiful ship. I have reasons to be mean. You broke the conveyors on my beautiful catapult. 
You broke the conveyors on your catapult. Hang on. By that logic, the enemy broke their own base by our hydrogen tanks. Yes, they shouldn't have built there. <laughs> oh yeah, round bacon. Should have used about round bacon. Oh well. Round bacon. I forgot that the round bacon existed. No, I actually want bacon. Eh. I'm not as enamored by bacon as some. What? I think I can enjoy it, but I, there are definitely things that I do not want bacon on. Yeah, okay, fair. Like, what I'm thinking of is, like, bacon and eggs. That's not connected to cargo. I don't know why I thought that would work. Yeah. No, I wholeheartedly disagree with Night and Night. The best surprising place for bacon is not a milkshake. Uh. Uh. No. Although Capex seems to disagree. <laughs> I had some tasty stuffed uh. jalapenos yesterday. Speaking of jalapeno poppers in chat. Oh. They were stuffed with chorizo and I think there was a little bit of cheese in there, but it was mainly chorizo. So good. It was a milkshake made with rum, Guinness, vanilla, ice cream and bacon bits? No, that's not a milkshake. Uh, uh, no, that I, sounds wrong. And yeah, no, that's not a milkshake. I know, I know it can work. I know adding a little bit of salt to sweet things can be tasty, but and equally pork does pair well with sweet stuff. But I think I think bacon is overhyped. Bacon is great when it's how to say it. When it's not part of a drink. <laughs> it's, I love bacon. I don't want to think about drinking bacon, though. <laughs> yeah, maple bacon's good. And I... You can definitely... I think I've, I've had a maple bacon cupcake that was pretty good. I just think uh, the way that a lot of that I hear a lot of people talk about bacon, I'm just like, it's not that good. Like it's good, but it's you know, there are better things. It's not something I would constantly eat. It's something that I'd eat when I'm in one of those moods, like where I just want to have a hearty meal. <laughs> Do you know the thing that I reckon deserves more praise than it gets? Oh, vanilla. It highly depends with what. No. Vanilla... Anything sweet, vanilla will elevate it. Yeah, okay. I do agree with that. Vanilla is kind of the, the bay leaf of sweet foods. Real vanilla we brood. Real. It, it does matter. <laughs> it definitely does matter with the vanilla, whether it's the extract versus the essence. Uh, you can totally tell. Hey, Splits, how far hmm. away from the base are you right now? Uh, approximately... yes. Uh, 4.2 k's. <laughs> Um, I think the drone is almost done. Cool. Well, it's almost time for me to launch some catapult, some bombs. Limos. Like currently, all the functionality is in here. I just need to do some more greebling. 
even that is almost done because I have decided to do replaying and functionality in one go, which I'm never doing again. That is a good point, Nuku Elf. Butter is the butter of butter because nothing tastes better than butter. And butter makes everything better. Uh, in moderation, yes. Okay, it doesn't make your heart health better. <laughs> and also, <laughs> Man, I... Good. I would say that I would not want to eat pure butter. You would say that until you've done it. I've accidentally done it once. I it's need so something good. extra. Although I do love buttercream. Yes, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but that is not just butter. It's true. It's butter, like, sugar. The and thing usually I really vanilla. dislike. Yeah, like the thing I really dislike about butter itself Although is some the of them texture. Are made with meringues. Oh, we tried making meringues the other day. Didn't go well. There's a because um, we were. Yeah, you go. We were doing some baking, and I needed the uh, egg yolk yolks. But I had nothing to use the egg whites for, so we were like, let's make some meringue. Why not? And the mixture went well, we added in the sugar, that went well. And then we put it in the oven. Oh, well, actually, we put it in the air fryer because we were testing out things with air fryer. And um, it was very sticky. How hot did you do and for how long? Um, I think we first tried 180 degrees Celsius Oh, that's for... too hot. Yeah, we tried that for 10 minutes. Yeah, like... And it didn't work, so we lowered it to 160 and did it for another 12. Meringue's like 120 for an hour? Yeah, but we had an air fryer and we didn't yeah, want yeah. to that's we'll a, do it that's for an, an hour and we got that, impatient. <laughs> yeah, that that's... No, you, you can't be impatient with meringue. <laughs> Yeah, but it was also, very glamour. marshmallowy. Oh, nice. Oh, I... Camera is not in place. Oh, well. But it was great huh? with... Um, no, no. I think I was making a semi-croissant at the time as well. Because that's oh. why I needed the yolk glazing. Oh, no. Can't so, unfortunately... The croissants were a little bit dry, but we added in the very fluffy meringue and very sticky meringue, and it tasted so good. Added <laughs> on a little bit of honey. Oh. I don't want to make that again, but I am going to need a better croissant recipe. Because it was very dry. In a bad way. Not in the croissant no. type of way. Not a flaky sort of way. No. It was a solid mass. Ah, uh, so it didn't pop. It didn't puff up either. No. Oh. Did you make it from scratch or made it from puff pastry that you bought? Scratch. That's I've hard been work. To do a little bit of baking. That's yeah, real hard it work. It is. Croissants are hard. Yeah, and also you cannot massage the dough too much, which is what nope. I've realized and from needs that to experience. Be cold, so you got to put it back in the fridge uh -huh. after each working. Oh yeah, but that's fine. I do that with most of my doughs anyway. And the amount of butter that went in. Oh, oh yeah. That's why that's why croissants uh, taste good. I know, but it's still like I look at the butter and I'm like, I have more butter than dough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh okay. Bring the spectator back and let's see if I can actually lock on this time. But hey, we will be making some red velvet again in Two days? About? Oh. I'm going to be starting Which... to practice my Toby cakes. Um, oh? In the next week or so. So I can make him a ridiculously overdone cake for his first birthday that he'll have zero memory of. But I will hopefully oh. remember so that I can do a better one by the time he actually cares what it looks like. Oh, Cumbrian. It's funny that you would say that. You appear to have logged into a diabetes engineers. I actually do have diabetes, so technically accurate. <laughs> the 
But yes, I, I do love the snackers. Okay, and three, I'm having two, that bacon one. face. Logic. Good luck. Okay, I think that's the greebling on this thing done. I just need to add some lights or not. Now this thing needs lights. Yeah. No! Stop being like this. Why am I so bad at locking onto this today? Uh, I have type 1. <laughs> you volunteer for taste testing? Well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's better. I don't think it'll taste very nice once I send it over, though. Who doesn't tend to survive a uh, trip? Just a little bit more left. Got the right distance. Got to get the angle right. Thanks, Cutthroat. Thanks for the prime sub. Let's see, cooking stream. Um, I mentioned this the other day. I think maybe if we, Capac and I ever get to do another road trip to PAX, I might see if we can do like a stop on the side of the road barbecue sort of thing. That might Ooh. work. That would be an interesting just chatting stream. Yeah. Barbie and grill. Either that or we can just stop along the way and just grab food and <laughs> talk about stuff. But yeah, I, I think that would be potentially fun and potentially doable. I don't really have a way to set it up at my place, but we could also, we've talked about um, doing stuff at Capex, but he's not been organized enough for that to happen at any stage either. Oh, never. <laughs> yeah, something like that. No, no. Okay. I'm just not sure about the side yet. What's Miracle Whip? You said it wrong. wrong. It's Quip. Oh yeah, it's like Cool Whip. Ah, oh, so close again. Also, why? It's like why do mayonnaise? I know that? I thought it was a whipped cream thing, but I wasn't sure, so I asked. Miracle Whip is fake mayonnaise. Um, splits. Yes. Are you aware that you left the welders on? Um. How do I answer that honestly? <laughs> it's okay to say yes. I'll get mad either way. I was unaware. But it's not surprising. <laughs> Thank you, that... Papa. Perfect timing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh dear, this moves around a fair bit. Alright, unlock. Launching. Oh. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, I'm just looking at a ship. Cool, whip is liquefied marshmallow. Oh, hmm. right, that's what it was. Isn't it regularly used on Sorry, cool. Whip. You gotta say whip. Thanks to Family Guy. Oh, man. Oh, actually, Whoa. I have an idea. Ah. Why am I still tracking this thing? It fell through the planet. Well, I did some damage. It wasn't useful, though. I think I know what to do. Oh? What are you up to? 
Thanks, Gilbert. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, all right. I need to. Which which way? Were... I was too far to the right then, wasn't I? Let's see if that changes it enough. Catapulting stuff. Are they catapulting stuff at us too? No, no. This is unreplied, uh, which is probably a good thing. Oh, this looks good. Oh, I took out one of their wind turbines. Now. Let's. Minus 19, no, minus 18.9 again. Okay, so I am going to. I wanted to keep that antenna intact for locating the base. Yeah, but I'm trying not to. Trying not to what? Trying not to destroy the antenna, but I've got to take out the turrets at the bottom of the thing that has the antenna. Ah. So I kind of don't have a lot of options on it. But as we've now got markers and we've hit it a few times, I think it should be okay now. It won't be the worst thing in the world if I stuff that up. Um, you are fully loaded on hydrogen, right? Uh, I was pretty loaded up, yeah. And then it should be fine. Oh, as in, because you're thinking I won't have to come back for more stuff. Indeed. Arg. Oh, oh, do you actually so have a ship back. there? Oh, yeah, I've got my welding oh. ship on board. Okay. Oh, that was so close. That was dead on line. Ah. Man. That was an interesting way for that block to fall. Try the same shot, see if the other variables move it enough. Yeah. I probably should have done that. It's alright. I only changed it a tiny bit. It'll be okay. I really wish I could set a more easily reachable key to be the I probably can. I wonder if I can change tilde to be my auto lock for spectator cam. So it's something I can reach while actually holding the controls. Well, that's felt way short. Hmm. Thank you, Corbin. Thank you so much for the five giver subs. There is a sorter between the connector and the rest of the grid, so it's impossible for it to get components in it. And if it... Or it should be impossible. Uh, huh. uh, we did that last time to make sure. Uh, I think I'm just going to launch again and see where this lands. 
Ah, hmm. uh, no. The, uh, chat was right. The sorter would not stop the hydrogen. Uh, it did not stop the hydrogen. But it stops the components. Oh, Keith. Thank you so much for the six month resub. Thank you. You spooked me. In silent for so long. What is a move master? Vestigious? Sounds like a movement device. It does, but I don't know what type of thing it is. Oh, come on, this is looking good. Oh, that is so close to what I wanted, though. Oh, man. Well, let's launch again. Oh dear, he's got the taste word now. I'm pretty close to us being able to try and walk in there and take out the remote. Nice. I think I think we'll have this today. Thanks, DC Bloomer. Thank you for converting I your prime so. sub to a tier one sub. Thank you very much. I think Shadow's oh, secretly my... hoping that not too many people do that, so that I have to decide whether I do anything about the whole partner plus thing. I was gonna say, like, maybe now is a good time to inform people about the partner plus again. Oh no, I'm not not informing. I'm just after you said before the stream what you said about haha uh -huh, you might have to do one of those oh. sub things whoa what man <laughs> thank you so much for gifting out 20 community subs i that sound is gonna play many times oh dear what man is incredibly generous <laughs> indeed he is thank oh, you no, i'm gonna stand much. up again uh, i'll stand up after this hit slash miss because i think it's gonna miss yeah, it's going to miss. It pushed some blocks <laughs> around. Oh, thanks, dear. Battlestorm. Thank you for six oh. months. Ogre, thanks so much for the two-month resub. Up we go, up we go. I'm playing curling now. Yeah. It shows how much variation there is per shot. What I'm doing right now. Hey, the desk didn't give up halfway through that one. It actually made it all the way up. I think it's time for the desk to get a sticker. <laughs> Yay, it did the thing. It did a Thank thing. You, Thank you for the 44 months. 44. Dang. It's been 44 years. Thanks, DC Bloomer. Thanks for the prime sub. Everything is just exploding now. Well, the Everything desks get a name happening. now. I do have a label maker. I could stick a label on it and name it. Have I have I made a lifting thing that didn't quite work properly? Because <laughs> I feel like it should get that name. <laughs> <laughs> a lifting thing that doesn't quite work properly. Sounded a bit like Capax chair. Um, yeah. I can uh, understand how they would end up sounding similar through the mic. <laughs> I do love the little bounce that small grid sometimes do when you drop them to the ground. <laughs> We had to synthesize a whole mountain into canisters and a lake of ice into hydrogen, but we did kill one outpost. Also, that missed again. Same angle. Hmm. I think it must have wiggled itself that way. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
I didn't give the Ice Lake Miner and Survival Impossible a name, I didn't think. Oh, yeah, I show hydrate. And just micro villagers. Testificates. If that's how you want to call them, go ahead. That's what they were called. Sure. What do you mean? Why are you shoring me? Thank you, Kappa. <sighs> Sorry, Kappa just made the best argument that I. Yep. Let's try something. Nothing left to say. What if the suspension is really strong? Will it be more consistent? Less bounce then. So maybe. We are going to have to recite in where these are going though. This is going over <laughs> by a few hundred meters. You think? Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, hinges. I should probably go and get a paint gun for what I'm doing. And I don't have any of my inventory anymore. The alignment did look Wait. good, yeah. Hopefully this is, this next one will be a bit closer to target. Alright, 34, is that going to drop to 33 or are we good? I think I'm loaded up and launching. don't know if this one's going to be short enough. I think this one might be going long too. In fact, I think this one's going to hit pretty much exactly where the other one did. That's not ideal, I'd imagine. Hmm. Weird. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure how to best deal with this now that I know that it's this week being so inaccurate. It seemed much more predictable and consistent last time. And I would have thought, given that I've loaded this up with a lot more components this time, that I would have been more stable and less... I have less variance per shot, but it seems like I'm getting more. Okay, let's see. I have up, down... Left, right, backwards, forwards, right. Yes, I have made a little ball! Yay! <laughs> it's cute. Okay. Wait, have you made a little mergeable ball that you can use to build, to control your drone initially and then detach from the drone so that it can do its things? Not quite, but that is something it can be used for. Huh. So... The idea I have for this ship is to make this the control seat of modular ships, so I can just connect to a mining module and do some mining. Right. But I can also use it for welding and other things. And most importantly, I can use it for just traveling. Okay, cool. Huh. I think... And I guess I can attach a missile as well. Yeah. I think I'm changing the wrong setting here. Um, 
Oh, actually, I have an idea. <laughs> or I guess I could technically connect to the catapult as well. But I don't think that will um, help. Uh, it doesn't need an air vent for pressurization. There is oxygen on this planet and as such in my cockpit. Now let's try. Fingers crossed this, uh, <laughs> this will bring it better. Oh. The humble utility bubble has been created. Or hub for short. Ooh, well. nice hit. <laughs> it was, um... That certainly changes the dynamics in there, I guess. Forward and to the right a bit? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think I'm just going to keep moving the catapult around. <laughs> uh... Go there. Can you see? This is probably going to make it even less accurate, but what I was doing wasn't working particularly well this week, so I thought I'd change my plans up. Nothing wrong with a little bit of variation every now and then. Yeah. It's going to fall short. Not too bad, though. Give it another go. I reckon, Shadow, if I run out of components, we should probably just go and attack this thing on foot and see how we go. Sounds good. Should incentivize me to hopefully do a bit better at this. <laughs> Since I know I've now got limited uh, attempts. Don't worry, you're not being watched by many people at once. I mean, the other option would be if the base has enough uh, hydrogen, we could use our missiles again. For a final attack. Oh, I've overshot. Curses. Um, ah, nah, nah, big flying ship. What? Do you Where? not see the Syndicate Cargo Transport U09? Oh. Uh. 
with the two SD3 drones with it. Indeed. Yeah. Very close by. Uh, that's 3.3 k's from me. How close is it to you? It was 1.9. Ooh. Was it getting angry at you? <laughs> no, it was not yelling profanities at me yet. Oh, jeez, you were close to that. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's fine. What do you think? My little bubble. Uh, oh, I will let you know once I watch this exploit. Fair enough. Oh, come on. No! I'm perfectly in line and I just... Argh. Just got to get it to fall a bit short. Alright, where's Shadow's bubble? He's bubble. Oh, yeah, tidy. Yeah. Smart putting the big connector on it so I can hook on to larger things with more ease. Indeed. I have made a few too many mistakes when it comes to small connectors. <laughs> yeah, they're um they're not the most practical of things when you're using large grid anywhere. Indeed. It's great when you're trying to make a um, printable drone because you know that connector will be connected. So one time connect. Maybe. Yeah, they're, use, they're useful for some specific circumstances, but there you do have to very, be very mindful about where you're using them. Um, Indeed. So event controller. I'm gonna try. No, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what I've been doing. I'm gonna adjust the power again. Okay. And launch. Have I considered launching them at a compliment? Uh, I don't think they'd shoot a decoy. Oh, actually, they probably would shoot a decoy if we launched decoys at them. Yeah. So we could launch complimentary capacs at them. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Well, if it helps, I don't see the base anymore. <laughs> uh, Not sure that helps. Yeah, no, it doesn't want to load in the grids anymore, I don't think. Oh, that's annoying. Oh well. Um, I can kind of do something like that for Pine Gamer. I can make a lifting module for this ship. That's the beauty of this ship. This is only the base hub. Oh, this is where oh. the magic happens. Oh, so close! Oh, I thought that might have had a chance to knock out that turret. Erg. Dang. I'm just going to launch again as is.
see if there's enough wiggle to make this work. As I'm also now doing a much better job of remembering to reset my hinge and my connector <laughs> during the flight path of the other bomb so that I can launch more quickly. Good job. Oh! Okay, I think I've just got to keep launching as I am. Do we have limited ammo? To some extent, yes. <laughs> there are a decent amount of components in these things. And also the fuel costs. Uh, yeah, oh, too low in the cabin uh -oh. doesn't matter at all. I think my space engineers is about to crash. Uh oh. Yep. Good. Crash a did did. Go away, oh, Gigabyte. Gigabyte. Yeah, Inherited Drake, I don't know why I didn't set up a reset for this. Um, yeah, I actually don't know why I didn't do that. I probably should have. <coughs> but I didn't. <laughs> so, here we are. Oh, desk noises. Yeah. Also stuck on Charlie's one of Charlie's beds with my chair. Oh, there goes my water bottle. <laughs> Don't break everything down. Yeah, I almost pushed my desk down too far and crushed stuff. There we go. That's better. Uh, what type of module to make first? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think what would be most useful with it first. I was considering doing mining, because then we have an Edmo miner. Yep. But then I realized, like, we technically already have a pretty good miner. No! I missed a good hit, I think. I swear that has less tower left than it had before. Oh. Oh. The cruelty of that. Yeah. Hmm. Launching. Yeah, now let's do a mining module. That way I can still do mining even when we don't have any hydrogen. Sounds like a good plan. Um, oh! I don't know how much you'll Yes! That was a very nice hit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Also, I gotta say, I love how the antenna is still active. <laughs> NCC, you lunatic! Thank you so much for the 50 five zero gift subs. Dang, man, thank you. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was a thing. Um. Those turrets are dead. I'd hope they are. No, uh, I know they're dead because there are red lights on the conveyoring. Red means no power. Ooh. So? So we have like two more Gatling turrets to kill and every weapon in there that I can see and I'm not going to explore too much more is dead. Okay. 
Yes! The Very pow was on, on the antenna bit. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't believe this has worked. This I'd give so you a cool. pat on the back, but I don't think I can reach that far. Oh, back, <laughs> shoulder, sorry. Ah. So glad we did this, Shadow. I'm glad you did too. Hang on, I want to rewatch it. It was your shenanigans, sir. Oh, and apparently I'm at 0.25 again. 0.25? Well, because the last clip I watched was at 0.25 speed. Oh. That's what you meant. Here it goes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's, a, that's not a way I want to hear myself in slow-mo. Uh, beautiful! That was a very nice hit. <laughs> oh, satisfaction! Um, I don't oh, boom! Yes! That was a very nice hit. <laughs> wow. Oh, that feels oh. so good. <laughs> Especially with all the misses that happened beforehand. Uh, now. I need to move a little bit to the right. That should be far enough. And let's launch. Let's see if we can hit that thing to the right hand side. And if we can't, we're going to run out of ammo soon. So we'll just have to go in on foot and deal with those turrets ourselves. Oh dear. Or do you want to have one more go with the hydro the big bombs? No, I think uh, the catapult has done the hardest work, so the catapult should be uh, the last to fire. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not too far from where I wanted to be. So if I do this, what happens? That'll hopefully be about right. There we go. Oh, and of course it falls night now. I'm getting lost in my whole bars. Oh boy. Uh, You're getting lost on your hotbars? Yeah, I'm still iterating uh. what would be best. One is for my armor, two is for my connectors and conveyors and base necessities, and I don't know where to place the tools. Ah. Uh. Thinking about four. Oh. My tanks and no two gens. Okay, I think I, I think, I just need to just a little bit back and move a little bit backwards. Oh yeah, I sure hydrate. Well, I've got forty-seven percent left in one tank and a hundred percent in the other. I don't know how many components I've got left, but I think I can keep firing for a little while yet. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, still got quite a lot of components aboard, so we're still good. I can fire heaps more ammo. Nice. I would like to try and take out at least one of these Gatling turrets, because they do have pretty good coverage where they are. Still a bit long.
That's not where I meant to place that. We're only just adding some distance so I can raise this module. Because something I do want to do with the modules is make it so that they can stand on their own. So I can yeah, just fly into them. That makes a lot of sense. Because it, it's awkward if they have to be stuck on connectors and all things if you want to not have to have a whole lot of connectors for all your different modules. Indeed. Oh, I might still add a connector to the bottom here anyway, because this one yeah, does yeah. need to offload. But well, I was more meaning like, if you if you want to be able to share connectors between your um your welder module, your grinder module, your drill module, then it makes sense to mm -hmm. have them be able to stand on their own as well, so you can shift them around. Exactly. Can I add a second hand tank by hand to increase the explosion? Yes, but then my accuracy will be way off because it'll be extra mass and I'll have no idea where it's going to land. So there are some costs to that. Eh. Oh, wait, I'm stuck. Great. I think just relaunch where I am this time. Oh, please don't break. In fact, let me quickly get the blueprints just in case it does. Oh. Wait, what? What? How are you hovering? You. <laughs> okay, clearly you're doing magic over the there. Power of... You know this no. is engineering, not magic, right? Oh. At least until we get the jump drives. I thought this was magic engineers. That does actually feel like a good concept for a game. Isn't that just artificing or artifice? Mm -hmm. You're the one telling the story. Oh, oh no. Oh. Come on. Just one more good hit on one of those Gatlings and I'll be keen to go in. Actually, it is at this point where I probably should go back and make a very simple missile. Something cheaper than the big one and manually control it in. Because that's way over. I mean, we technically can launch a player-controlled missile into the air. So we can then activate it and then home in. At well, I was, I was thinking of yeah, something chemicals. directly player-controlled just to take out the last couple of turrets. Uh, let's just Zip, where are you trying to up. wiggle to? You appear to be definitely trying to go someplace, but where is this someplace? Now, can I see the munitions coming in? Oh, there it is. Munitions mm. spotted. Probably a connector on the side might not be a bad idea. Oh. I think just keep launching. That was close. Be here. See how quickly I can launch them in. Watching my hotbars only. <laughs> the reload rate is a little slow on this catapult. Could be faster. We cannot keep up with that demand though. No, no we can't. I am kind of lobbing them as fast as I can. Like you can see, oh, you can see how slowly the, the tank fills. Just need more catapults. And more mines. And more all the things. Yeah. Yeah, I think let's adjust the hinges back a bit. It's if this next one overshoots as well. Oh, 
There it is. Just make it out. Incoming! Thanks, Sada. Thank you for eight months. And... Overshot. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to reduce the hinges a little bit further, actually. The blammo goes well, Zada. The blammo goes very well. I am just trying to finish off the last little bits of it so we can go in. There has been much success. Alright, I can see my incoming projectile. Mm hmm. Chad, what do you think? Should I keep it as small conveyors, or should I make it armored conveyors? It's just on because I do plan on adding the thrusters is. here. Because this thing is going to need a lot of lifting thrust. What were you trying to decide? Sorry, Shadow? I got distracted by explosions. Uh, the type of conveyor. Like, currently I have just small conveyor, but I'm deciding between replacing it with armored conveyor or keeping it this way uh armored conveyor will give you more options for greebling because it's got more attachment points indeed that's usually my reasoning for choosing it. it has nothing to do with the reinforcement it is entirely due to the attachment points for more things to stick to it i usually pick the armored ones because they require steel plate to build i often and forget got, to grab and you've got the, it on uh, your hand yeah yeah I mean, the the real thing that I would I would think would be a great option for this catapult to increase its damage would be to, instead of having just one thing being welded up on the arm, have multiple projectiles on the same arm. So you get a bit of a cluster effect, and obviously that's going to be more likely to hit the target. One would hope, at least. Oh, that's so close. That was the right distance, just slightly off. Which I'm not sure moving is the right option. I think I've just got to launch again. Alternatively, what you could do would be a proper cluster bomb, but then you need to have a battery on it. Because you need to have a timer so that once it reaches its apogee, it then turns off all the merge blocks that are holding it together and splits them so then they all slowly drift apart from that top and hopefully hit their target without too much spread. Here it comes. Hey, Ghost. Uh, you have missed quite a lot, yes. Let's see, has been lobbing bombs again. Oh, yes! I made it. Yes! Drone. Was a direct hit! <laughs> There's another base loose on the ground. <laughs> With a powered up gun that's facing at the soil. Um, but still, I got one more of the guns. Nice. So, yeah, that's what you missed, Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I should have tried to explain it as I got overexcited. Victory! Victory, 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 victory! And then we'll probably get shredded by some interior turrets. Probably. Oh, which means... Oh, we've only got the one survival kit, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mm. Until we can capture this location. Oh, yep. Yeah. Took out the turret. It's done. All right, Shadow. Um, hopefully, be enough lifting for us. I think uh, we probably want to wait till daylight before we go in, but I don't I know how long be... that's going to be. It is currently 
about 10 p.m. local time. Oh, so it's ages away. It turns tonight at around 6, so... Oh, it's it's 2.30 local time for where I'm at, so that's at least a little bit better. Are you looking at UTC or local? Oh, right, I'm looking at UTC. Local is 9.10, sorry. Yeah. Poop. Guess I could ask chat to see whether they want us to do a nighttime assault. Also, Flammo! Liam. Where's this one gonna land? Oh, well, if anything, we should just scatter around some spotlights then. <laughs> throw some, throw some stuff. Nighttime scout run, easier to see the traces? Arguably so. It's not especially dark at night because we do have the vanilla skybox. Ooh. Mostly vanilla, at least. Hmm? What's not vanilla about the skybox? Nebula. Oh, All right. Well, that's not actually skybox. That's really there. Decrease 50. I don't but know it's... what that meant. I think you took it out. <gasps> Did I take out its proper remote? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Now we can go in. Yes, okay, perfect. <laughs> Sorry, but Capac went and did his thing just as you were celebrating. Oh my <laughs> goodness, that was. But yeah, um. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna fly close and see. But that is what the drop 50 means. Oh! Wait, didn't we see that earlier in this playthrough? Did we? I think we saw it when we were on Zuno because it might mean some stuff has been happening on the other planets. Ah. Um, I'm getting close and I'm not seeing any problems. Did I get the mining ship? Um, no. We we definitely. No. I'm 2.2 k's out from it and nothing has happened. I think what we need to do is I need to fly home. And I need to bring the Abominus Prime close so that we've got a respawn close by. Because we got to go and in there on foot and clear it out. Because I think there could still be some interior turrets there. And should I then also park the miner on the Abominus so we do have the miner accessible for if yeah. we do clear it out? Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Or I just creep on this miner for a while, have you drive the Abominus Prime, and hopefully by the time you're there, or close enough to, I can use this miner to... Uh, yeah, actually. Park this miner. Um, yeah, because you can always fly over to me. Yeah. Yeah, good call. I will, um, I'll be there shortly. I'm leaving the catapult in location, just in case. Yep. Oh, I can't believe that worked! That's so good! I'd clap, but it wouldn't come through well on Mike. <laughs> oh, and I get to see my light show that I set up. Thanks, Ghost! Thanks, Ghost Out Ghost, for the gift sub. Oh, what a win. Win for stupidity over everything else. What? You mean engineer? Yeah, sorry. Win for engineering over combating. You did say engineered, right? I was referring to the game, but engineered also works. I like engineered. Thanks, Ghost Arcos. Thank you for four months as well. If it's stupid and it works, is it, is it really stupid? Always a fair question. Um, oh, what do right. you think of this monstrosity? Before you leave. How many more drills are you adding? Uh, at least two more at the bottom. Might add a few more on the top, but... And in the middle, but I have yet to decide how I want to do that one. Hmm. Oh yeah, because you'll have it'll be a little donut then. That you have to Indeed. fly into. Okay. I like it. It's different. I like different. Yeah. And it's modular. And I like modular. Um, I don't 100% recall whether I suggested Catapult saying something stupid and then everybody just agreed. Uh oh. What's that mean? 
An unknown, unknown group has, has raided, raided the, the ROS oh. research station on Crate. Initial reports tell us that a lot of prototype weapons have been stolen. How the raiders managed to get past the security grid is unknown. The GC has yet to respond to this shocking incident. I think it's time to use the TV for its intended purpose. How, how do? News. Sorry, Mankini, but you've got to make way for news. Crypt. Uh, news feed. There we go. Well, we're not on Crete. On Crete? On Crete, so that's not us, at least. No, but it's beginning. The story oh, in... has activated, I think. Because we did things. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It only took us a few weeks, but... <laughs> a few months. I was just saying we're up to the 15th. Um, thumbnail, at least. Oh, that is exciting. And terrifying. But also exciting. And very terrifying. My wheels all off. Might be. My wheels aren't doing anything. Uh, huh. What the? Um. Um. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. I'm getting some horrible desync. Every time I hop in the cockpit, everything stops moving. Uh, right. I don't know how to resolve that. I might try uh, a reconnect. Your back wheels are spinning, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> that was some bad desync. <laughs> Mm. Every time I hopped in the cockpit, the ship, the rover would just appear to instant stop. And then I'd hop out and it'd update. And then I'd hop back in and it'd stop. But I could see where the rover roughly was based on where the re the stairs were. <laughs> Interesting. But only half of the stairs. I mean, that could have made for an amazing co-op experience. <laughs> Although I don't even trust myself enough. Oh, well, while my game is reloading, I'm going to refill my water bottle. Sounds like a plan. Toasty in my chest. Yeah, you turn that fan on. Yeah, it's 28 degrees in here already. Oh, so how'd you turn it base? Let's see. 52% on three hydrogen tanks. Oh. Updated faction strength. Uh-oh. Okay. Yay, I can control it. Abominus rollout. Oops. That's a hill. I don't want to go over. How much hydrogen did our bomb bombardment cost us? Um. I think we launched. If we don't count the missiles, because I can't remember how many missiles we shot. Just the catapult bombardment was about seven or eight large hydrogen tanks worth. Uh, maybe? Uh, my shed is plumbed, yes. I have a little kitchenette and uh, an ensuite for my shed, which is very handy. Wow. What you need is an ice cube machine as well. 
Well, I do have the Xbox fridge, but it doesn't get quite that cold. Wait, what? Oh, oh Already oh. message inbound. To those responsible for the raid of the ROS, know this, the GC is ready and eager to respond. You will be met with swift and decisive retaliation. Okay. No to self, don't mess with the GC. Not yet. We're going to wipe out everybody, right? Yeah, sure. Let's not pick a side, let's be our own side. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. Oh dear. Sounds like a great plan to me. Um, Kanida, you say that that happened on day two. You were on Nagaris, right? Or Nagaris. That's where see you got the weird pronunciation of it. Agaris. I'm guessing you had a base get attacked. Which is not the same message as this. What did I just withdraw materials ah, for? What am I doing? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I mean, this is still safe for me to drive this way. That description of Agaris is actually pretty accurate as well. The amount of times I've almost lost her over because I grew overconfident on the roads. Ah. will happen. Do you reckon we'll have cause to use um, rover-based tanks in the future? Yeah. Good. Because I like, I like making combat rovers, largely because they tend to stay in the fight a little bit longer than my combat flyers. Um, we are going to fight some pretty powerful enemies, so... I'd argue that, yes, it is worthwhile to make a tank. But it will be out of heavy armor, and yes, I will build a welding crane just to weld that up. Whoa. That was getting a bit turn-happy. A bit tank-slappy. Tank-slappy. Yeah. Uh, a tank-slapper is on a motorbike when the front wheel starts to wobble, and... It's called a tank slapper because the handlebars would slap the tank. Oh. Hmm. Uh, that does not say. Uh, no. <laughs> Very safe. disconcerting. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, there are boats no, too. Sorry, There's people. the water on a on. Agaris. Egg on rice. Oh yeah, egg and rice. No, 5x5 five five large grid wheels do just straight up suck, so we would, if we were building a large grid tank, it would be a whole load of 3x3 three three wheels, much like in Wrong Way Up. Oh, I have the fun music stuck in my head. Oh dear. You deserve it. Thanks. I am enjoying it. Good music. <gasps> no, 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 no. That does not sound good. That's correct. It's not good. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Cool. I have resolved the dire situation, and I have turned off the tiny little bit of propulsion that was on my trailer that was causing that dire situation. Oh, so that's why the back wheels were spinning. Yeah. It was a, only a little bit, but it seemed to be enough that the trailer kept pushing when I was trying to slow down. Yeah, yeah. Which is always a considerable issue. All right. Indeed. I think I'm within about a kilometer of the base position now. So you should be able to find the offering support beacon. Oh, right. <laughs> 
Um, I don't think I can get my miner finished that fast. But do you want to bring the uh, other one over? Make sure you fly yeah. low, though, just in case there is a live turret. Because I'm right near the edge. Yep. Let me just quickly weld up these drills and then I can finish it later. Or put the parts in them at least. And hey, if there is a turret, I am technically flying a bomb. <laughs> I guess. Is it a bomb you want to actually drop, though? Part of me also... wants to say yes, because <laughs> I am working on a new miner. But then also having a miner whilst the other miner is not ready yet is usually a good idea. I'm going to drop my good tools. Oh, yeah, I'm going to wander call. in with no weapon at all and see what I find. Your meat shield? Whoa! You on your way? Uh, I was planning to, but the base has offer ideas. Yeah, you, you bounced then. Yeah. I know yeah. I should adjust the friction on the rear wheels. It's fine, though. It's not that bad. Trying to wait for Shadow. Yeah, I'm just getting an enhanced grinder. I'm not gonna throw away my Elite one, but I do want one that's better. Well, uh, could one you maybe you. bring me an enhanced one too, please? Like I just said, I'm also bringing one for you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. We might we might want a basic welder too. For hacking things. So you can repair cool. it. Cool. Oh, the amount of mess down there. I did a number on this place. Uh, do I need to call an exorcist ghost? Are you okay? I wonder whether I should drive around to a different side or if we can walk down this without dying. Oh, we're not we're not too interested in the parts here, unless there is something special. But what we're really interested down there is the silver that's underneath it. Indeed. Did you bring a drill, Shadow? Mm, not a player drill. Okay. I'm not being shot at. I'm relatively close. Which means... Oh, I'll wait for Shadow to get here with the tool. Otherwise, I'll when I inevitably respawn from falling down the bottom and dying, I will <laughs> then have a drill and I can make a path down. Sounds good. You almost here? You look like you're flying past the catapult. Yep, that was my waypoint. I didn't see the web up up support. Oh. Is it not broadcasting very far? Nope. Ah, uh, it's only at five thousand meters. Hmm. It didn't show up at five thousand for me. Oh, it could I be a sync distance thing. Yeah. Are we going to need a lot of silver, or we just should, or should we? We should be just able to remote mine this thing, right? We can remote this, I suppose. Uh, uh, by remote mine, we... I mean I using a mining ship, drill some out, fly back, sort of thing. Not as in remote drone. You good to look? Yep. I didn't want to press B, so I quickly had to move it onto my hold bar. Alrighty. Uh, tool. One and two. Thank you. Alright, let's do this thing. 
Let's go! I'm ready. I'm ready. Try not to die. It's a steep Tell me what to do. Yes, Capac. <gasps> How dare you. Hey, you say one of his lines. That's what's gonna... Jeez. Did you survive that? Yeah. I'm okay. Really? Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> uh oh. I'm fine. That was insane. You did a... You went up the other side. We have side. reasons to believe that the Shiffen Syndicate is partly responsible for the raid on crate. They will pay for this. That's the guys we're fighting right now. Huh. That might mean there will be war here. Ah. Also, my friend. Look, his friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the one that didn't explode. Bum -ba -dum -bum. Bum -ba -dum -bum. So there are stairs over here. I'm a little bit worried that there's a turret that's covering them. Yeah, no worries. I have an idea. I do have a gun back in the truck. I just thought I shouldn't bring it on my first approach. There is a turret that's covering nice it. Thank you for the raid. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Putting it down, so if it does have... It does have a turret. It doesn't shouldn't, have a shouldn't we try and approach the turret and remove it before while we know where it is? Or should I go back and get my gun and take it out? Oh wait, I can't really get back up there, can I? Um, uh, I'm gonna climb up it's the like, other side. I'm not being shot at. Oh. I think it might be... disabled? <laughs> oh. Okay. Maybe it's because we're not enemies, and it doesn't attack neutrals. Oh, right. So we could have walked in here as soon as we took out the remote. Apparently you were- Whoa! Hey, survival kit! <sighs> nice! I'm gonna hack that now. Oh, right, hacking. No! I lost my- Oh, you got them. Huh. Lost your sanity, that's what you've lost. But that was gone long ago. Uh, I have my health back. See. You trying to see if there's anything good on board? There's many beds. Many, many beds. But there is no more turrets from what I see. Nope. And there's some ammo in them there's and some uh, anyway. ammo. We might want to actually get that ammo. Yeah. All right, let's see what else is around here. Let me just quickly grind down this turret all the way so I can get the ammo. There should be a few other turrets lying around on the ground that we can get ammo from. Hey, there's a loose wind turbine. And of course the scrapyard player in me is like, I need to get that right now. <laughs> oh, and some heavy armor blocks too. Timber! Uh... No. Okay, you know what? You, you that guy go float there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the laser antenna. It's broken. No. Well. Have a good okay. one, Gate. That is, that is the risk of fighting this way. There are, there are some downsides. Indeed. Ice in here. We have a bunch of welders. And nothing of value here. Uh, I just picked up 24 cases of Gatling ammo. Nice. Uh, but my inventory is now pretty much full. Yeah, there's nothing worthwhile here. Although there is a nothing incomplete special. antenna. No, I don't think so. I mean, there's a burning turret over here. 
Yeah, there are a few of those. Because you were hoping that there might have been some sort of fancy drill here, but there doesn't seem to be any evidence of it. No. I'm guessing only the ITC has access to that drill. Yep, our reputation with them is currently um, going down a lot. In fact, let me quickly check. With the syndicates? In, yep. At minus 362. So we That's need to not be a little too bit more bad. I mean, if we leave their wreck here to, for them to salvage it themselves, then we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll go get the miner. Okie dokie. I may as well walk with you, because what else am I going to do? Salvage? Get some My ammo. My full. Of ammo. Ah. Yeah, we'll loot the ammo, and then uh, I guess we're mining some silver, finally. Just a sliver of silver. Which you can probably offload into the truck, and I can take it back so you can make shorter trips. Yep, planning to. Uh, I have checked the inventories of the grids, yes. It feels surreal to have achieved this. We've been poking at this thing for so long. Mm-hmm. You can't believe it's over. No. I'm sure if the hunt hasn't left you yet. Yeah, which makes me want to launch stuff at the fuel depot. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Especially since it's near to our path between here and our base. Let's feast on our current kill first. Alright. No need to blow ourselves just yet. But we will. Soon. I mean, I was just thinking of launching stuff from the catapult at it. Yeah, but also... If we do need to get out of here, I'd rather do it with silver. Okay, fair play. That's fair. Otherwise, this is all for naught. Yep. Silver and uranium. I should probably make myself a mining vehicle so I can mine alongside you. I should finish my mining vehicle so you can use the old mining vehicle if you'd like. I mean, that could happen too. I mean, hang on, why don't you head back and I'll do the mining then? How am I going to head back? Um, you hop on the mining ship. And I fly it back with you on top, and then I drop you off, and then I come back in a mine. Okay. Uh, should we first get a load of silver, though, so we can start processing some? Yeah, that seems like a decent plan. <laughs> Ganita, if I backspace myself, I will end up either at that base or here. Yep, because our only spawns are actually right here. Yep. Uh, where are you going to jump on? I'm from, I think it's best that you go mine the silver first, and then I oh, hop yeah, on. Good, good point, good point. <laughs> I kind of trust your flying, but I don't trust it when mining. Well, it's also that I'll be tilting so much that it would be very bad for you. You need updated faction string. Interesting. Ow, oh, ow, the Silver's not ow. deep, at least. Ow. many needles apparently we don't really have a lot of screens in here oh you're trying to put the news on there yeah and I'm kind of curious about the faction strength as well because now it's actually going to change I think. Oh, right. We need not forget about the other survival kit. I mean, once we take the silver home, does it matter? No, I guess it doesn't. But still, that one bit of salvage. <laughs> it's Our only piece of salvage. It's like a trophy. How heavy can your miner get again? Before I have to stop? Uh, it can get fairly full. 
Cargo wise, completely full. Drills like half, at least. I think this silver's going to take a while to fill it. So I don't think we get much per unit volume mined. Oh, actually, Shadow, you make a valid point about the the um, survival kit. Because this is Ares of War, how much are we actually going to get from this silver? Are those three med components actually worth something? No. Okay. We have yield modules, don't we? Uh, what, what? We have yield modules, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so we should get a good amount of silver. Wait, I think we have yield yeah. modules. I'm pretty certain we do. We got gold on the last planets, right? Yeah, and I think we brought parts with us because we... Wait, did we? Pretty certain we did. Why are you suddenly being so insecure? Or insecure, uh... Uncertain? Oh. Yeah, that's a word. I have no idea. Because it feels like so long ago that I... I looked at the refineries and I can't remember what we have on. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Ophiuchus, I am resisting the urge to build a silver processing facility on this silver location. Largely because I, I don't think, even with Ares of War, I don't think silver is something we're going to consume large amounts of. Gravity components. Are we likely to make a lot of gravity components? Yes. Jump but even drive still, like, and uh, what I mean is, like, going to need them. On, ongoing consumption. Like, yes, we'll use some, but oh, no, once I we've used it, think... are we going to need any more? Unless, you know, we're losing ships that have these things on them. Let's see, the jump drive requires 20 gravity components, and the friendship drive requires. 120. Hey, elemental balance. Thank you for the 100 bitties. What Shadow said? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Ion thrust is a gold, not silver. Oh, my salaries of war changes that. So they're not. I mean, we are also worry. going to need 1500 thruster components for the friendship drive. So, although that is large grid. Small grid, we need 20 gravity components and 250 thruster components. But a thousand superconductors! Ouch! Yeah, didn't oh, we get everything good. except for the gravity components? And isn't it already on the truck? Is it on the truck? Yeah. Alright, you did place it, didn't you? Yeah. Where did you place it? It's on the trailer. On the top. On the, on the trailer? On top? On the back? I thought. Or did we remove it? Maybe I... I thought mm -hmm. I left it on there. I know, I cannot really... Oh, wait! Hang on. Either way, the, the truck needs some upgrades now that we've got silver, because we need reactors, because we've got uranium. We still need 1,000 superconductors and 20 gravity components. And yes, oh, uh, I so should mine some more uranium as well. We yeah, want we to get gold. as much uranium here as possible. And gold. But isn't gold on Mizuno? I don't know. Let me, let me check. There's this very handy map called uh, the Globe. Yeah, I don't have it open. I didn't either, I think but I'm I can. About as full as I can get. This is feeling. Go sketchy. to System Viewer. Let's see. Mizuno has gold. Yes, Mizuno has gold. So we are going to have to leave here, fly, and slow boat it. Unfortunately. And let oh. me. We managed to do that so we only had to do it once, the slow boating. Yeah, there you go. So on Loris we'll just... we have silver uranium and Mizuno has gold magnesium. Okay, so our goal here should be to fill up the Abominus Prime with silver and uranium. And then fly back to Mizuno. Unless we want to stay here for a little bit longer and get some spice. Can we get that? With it's one have. of the rare resources here. But with what we have, do you think we'll be able to get it? 
Mm. We should be able to mine it at least. I'm not sure if we can process it yet. Because we do need the exotics refinery. Where is spice? Jeez, I'm down to 54% fuel. And I just accidentally offloaded the uh, silver. Oh, good job. I don't see where the spice is, to be honest. Isn't it the one that's really hard to see? The poles have uranium. Or do you mean, like, invisible to see drawn in color? Yeah, color. Oh, was that where the Graham Gray came from? That argument. Maybe. I don't know. Asterix said it was in the yellow fields. Okay. Is it not located? Oh, wait. On the map. Is it this proper yellow? Also, that, that is totally a Dune reference. If it is. I would imagine so. I can't imagine spice being included this with it not being a junior reference. Yeah, and there's also a spice inhaler, so... But yeah, it might be this orange here, if my cursor is visible. Or this. Well, if that's the case, that means we have a giant base to take out as well. Oh, I don't think we can. That's okay. Getting the silver and the uranium is a pretty big win. Reactors are pretty um, awesome. Where? Oh, are you again mining stuff for? Yep. Okay. I will come back up and take you home. I think this is all I yes. want to load up with. I don't want to load up too heavy. Can you jump that? Yep. Nice. <laughs> Timing, <Not quite>. <laughs> Uh Where are we going? Home. Where's home? So a little bit more to the right. It's to the south, south, southwest. Look for the hydrogen drone. There you go. Oh, the hydrogen drone's at home. Okay. Yep. I thought it might have been in the ice. Or at least in the direction of home. Oh, my unknown signal. I don't go up too high now. Oh, I was so tempted. <laughs> don't grind me out of the cockpit, please. <laughs> Okay, so now, now we just add reactors to everything. Small ones, because we can't build large ones because we need superconductors for those. But we can at least build small ones. And that means we've got power for days. And days and days and days, which is great. No more burning hydrogen for power. We can burn hydrogen for bombs. Out. I'd rather not burn the hydrogen before putting them in the bombs. Fair. We're up quite high. Oh wait, no. Wait, huh? Oh, wait. Weather? Fog? What? What? Why? Why is everything so white? <laughs> Confusion. LC just did clear skies, is that cleared it for you? Don't think so. Also. You know have control. <laughs> well fine. 
At least it's not my fault when the thing kills you now. I know, but it won't. I say holding my heart. <laughs> oh, I did miss another stand up. Dang it. Wow, 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 wow. There you go, you're docked. Yes. And my desk is going up. And up. And up. Also, and you place Capac in one annoying place. He truly is a cat. Alright, there we go. That's about right. Actually, that's still a little bit low. Bit more. There we go. Uh, okay. Refineries. Um, we don't have any modules on our refineries, actually. Yeah, we do. We, oh, sorry, we have we productivity have modules. modules. Yeah. One of the one of the refineries Wait. has none. At all. Oh well, that's fine. Oh no, I'm throwing out the stone. We need the stone because we need the gravel. I need to stop the gravel throwing out because we need to make reactor components. Good job. Oh, you've already stopped this, the gravel thrower. Yes. Because I needed gravel for my paint chemicals. Huh? And because the clunking was getting to me. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'll be right back. I just need to take a quick bio break. And that one. You sweet broadcast of your success. Um, we may or may not have caused the syndicates to raid the GC base. I I like to think that was us. It was our fault. It's called Snow Shadow. Come on, but you know what I mean. Just look different, not snowy. A bit foggy. Incoming transport? Oh yeah. It is coming quite close, isn't it? Oh, that is cool and menacing at the same time. It's like the scenario woke up. Yeah, fair enough, Glitch, fair enough. Although I do wonder that now that they raided the syn now that the syndicate has raided the GC, will they actually have better weapons? Is this scenario smart enough to actually upgrade tools? And is that even something I want to know? I don't think it is. Also, out of curiosity, how many people here have played this scenario before? Ah, so many of you are actually experiencing this with us as well. Very cool. Also, what do you guys want to see us build when we're actually doing a proper main base? Aggressive diplomacy. <laughs> You're still busy with Escape from Mars. Nice. 
A flying hamburger that shoots french fries. That does sound fun. Big Sphere. ACBM Submarine. A melee mech for smashing bases. Now that I approve of. But should it be a remote controlled mech? And I'm back. Welcome back. With some banana bread. Ooh. Trains. I. Oh, if only trains were actually viable in space engineers. Yeah, they're difficult to make into something that you can actually utilize properly. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have built an entire train station already. Functional. Proper so cargo offloading and everything. <laughs> Also, um, there is a bit more life going on now. The Syndicate is transporting many more things. Oh, cool. So by killing their base, we have caused them to wake up? <laughs> Apparently so. Or maybe it's they're prepping for the GC and they don't realize that we're actually involved and they think this is all GC sabotage. Maybe. Um, yeah, I don't see on the... I'm looking at the map right now, and I don't see the spice, any sort of marker that indicates spice either. Yeah. Uh, we might be able to do a quick scout, see if there's a base there, and if there isn't, then see if there's an ore patch. And if there is a base there, then we know there's spice there. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be where that big base target symbol is. Yeah, and I think that's the Foregone Station that we can see. But yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a base base? Okay. I don't know, though. I daren't say. That's a... It's a big four that can figure. Alright, well. How are we looking for... Um, silver at this point though. I'm curious how much we uh oh we got from just that one load with the miner and how much it's going to relate to reactor components. So you're making me hungry splits. How oh, dare you. <laughs> we have whoa we have 2200 silver already? Heat modules. Yeah. Don't underestimate them. I don't think we're going to need to make many trips to collect the silver that we need. Eh, might as well grab too much than too little. Hmm. Eh. Agreed. There is a lot eh. we're going to need. Huh. Okay. <laughs> this thing is absolutely no. ridiculous. Why haven't my reactors components shown up yet. What have you done that's ridiculous? Oh, just the drills. It just looks dumb. Actually, let's make 2,000 reactor components. We need 1,000 for a large grid. Large reactor, right? Hmm. I don't usually play with reactors, but I think it's 2,000. If I remember it correctly. Well, it's only the last... But it's only relatively recently that I've been playing with them a bit more. For a long time I'd I issued really, them too. What I really want to say is I don't think we should use the large grid large reactor, but instead just have a string of small grid large reactors. They just look so much better. Go and take um, a look if you... No, I like the oh. industrial... I like the warfare one, the industrial one, warfare or industrial, whichever it is. I like that one. Hmm. I personally prefer the small grids, large. Well, and small because they're basically the same design. Oh, why am I hearing fun music? What have you, you okay? done? I didn't do anything. I can hear fun music.
Or, well, actually, let me correct that. I didn't do anything recently. I think it's the TV. Yep. It was the TV. Don't tell me you've ground down the TV. No, I just turned it off. I turned off the volume on it. Um. Oh, I, I think tried. it decided to turn its music back on when you um changed the screen. <laughs> no, I may or may not have put a timer block somewhere on the base that just turns it on every 10 minutes. Right. <laughs> you are very welcome. Time to go collect more silver. Oh, he put down never... the volume. He didn't turn it off. Nope. Just for that, I'm going to fly with no inertia dampness for a bit. Okay, In the have fun. Go miner now. Oh, you care so little about it, huh? Not saying that, I just know that if it does break, I won't be the one to repair it because I will have another mining ship. Fair enough. I am also trying to be somewhat efficient with my flight profile so that... which is definitely improved if you turn your dampeners off. I'm not flying like that when I'm uh, just jetpacking. It's quite fun. Makes me feel free, in a way. Uh, yeah, test unit. Uh, I think Shadow's gonna get onto the uranium once her mining vehicle is finished. Indeed. And I'll keep working on the silver side of things. Like, arguably, we do have quite a bit of uranium, but we want more. Like, we can never have enough. No. I, I think I'd be quite happy to leave here with, you know, a few thousand kilos of it. Although, I do want to say, I think I might need a cargo transport for the uranium. Why? It is quite far away. Oh, you you mean some sort of land, rover based thing to transport up there? Yeah, it's... well, maybe not rover because it is 32 kilometers away. And I don't know what the train is like on Well, if the you're way gonna there. fly, you might as well just fly the thing that you're flying. Like that. Yeah. But then I can't make a lot of trip. Well, I mean I can make a lot of trips, but it'll take forever. Um what if what if can't you just take your big hydrogen thing and attach your miner to that? Cause that'd be a good flyer if you're gonna fly something, then at least it's large grid and it's already set up to be a large grid flyer. It's not the flight that I'm worried about. It's more the cargo capacity. Yeah, but the large grid thing, you can just add a cargo to it. The thing that's currently stuck to the base is what I'm talking about. If you want to see it gone, you can't just say so. <laughs> no, I, I, I genuinely think in this instance it's it's our best equipped vehicle because it doesn't really have a need anymore, that thing. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, I'm just messing. And yeah, if you, if you want to be able to mine with your small grid thing and not have to build a large grid mining thing, uh, make and not have to make 10 million trips over that 30 whatever k's distance then yeah having something to sit there as cargo and then do the big trips each way is, makes sense indeed <laughs> uh glad to have distracted you that much melon popper Oh. This. The length of this mining ship is a bit longer than I'm used to. I tend to make things a little more stumpy. So I keep knocking the back end on the ground. Uh, yeah, you do need to be a little bit careful. Also, I've almost created a doom voxel of silver. Oh, how dare you! 
They know, right? A monster. Yes. And I guess it takes one to know one. <laughs> and just as I say that, I hear a bunch of sirens start up in the back, in the distance. Wee woo, wee woo. We're onto you, Splits. Apparently so. You know what you've done with all those grids? Also, I set up a medical room on the base because I got sick of having to recharge. Oh yeah, good call. Plus, it means we no longer have to cheat one in whenever our suits get wrong. That never happens, right? <laughs> <laughs> How many times have we had to do that on stream? On stream? Uh, on stream at least a few times, but pre-stream... Three times? Quite a few. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to grind down, but I guess it's fine if I do this. Alright. AP. Transfer. Oh no, it's stone! I don't want stone. Uh, just sit on the bombless prime and inject. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> is that the poop of shame? It is. <sighs> Time for me to sit down again. Down goes the desk. Oh. Yeah, Creek's and a lot on the way now. It just really sounds like there's a lot of wheels rolling down a <laughs> surface. Or at least... I don't, like I don't know if it's the motor making that noise or if it's something else related to the motor that's making that noise, but yeah, it's it's not a great noise. It should not be making that noise. I'm going to turn stockpile off on the truck and I'm going to use its fuel for the miner. Since now we have a lot of fuel coming in. Yeah, I have made it so that we always have 75% at the base before the engines turn on and the engines seem to be on right now, so... 75%? Yes. Yeah, the, the I imagine the shuttle is working quite well now. And that you're not throwing away all of our hydrogen, yeah. literally. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine that has made uh, a significant impact. I'd hope so. Why aren't these cargo containers emptying when I do the build planner empty? If you are to try and start a reset war... Um, I would suggest going to Agaris first. It is the easiest of the spawns and also, to me, the most fleshed out and fun. Because you get to drive rovers all over the place. But also, you can very quickly solve your logistical problems. <laughs> with Outpost. And the story starts quite... Well, quite quickly. Yeah, we... We didn't make the best of choices for progressing things like we might have wanted to, but we still had some fun with it, so it's all good. Uh, Dells, the scrap beacon doesn't really have any purpose outside of a dedicated server environment. So I don't know if Nev has made that public or not. Because uh, it is really just utilized on a in the server. Uh, there's no need, like, something like that doesn't work in a single player game. Of course, here talking about the, there's a beacon that we have in the scrap server that I just started a series on YouTube with. Uh, the beacon protects our stuff from being cleaned up by the cleanup rules. But that's server-based stuff, like, uh, I think it has, I think it may even have to be a torch server. With a specific plugin as well. Yeah. 
As Nev just said, if you just install the Scrap Beacon mod, it's just a beacon. It's fine. My, uh, mine almost fell over. Oh, good job. Thanks. Well done for it being an almost. I'd like to think I can think fast. <laughs> and also that it's not my first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my first time almost collapsing. It's my third. That's generous. It's my three thousand. Three thousand? Meh. Can't talk. <laughs> That's a bit excessive. Rude. Oh no, I probably have almost tipped things over three thousand times. I only have to do oh, it dear. once every second hour for that to be the case. Yeah, I, mean, I suppose it does happen many times in an hour. The something I've tipped over could have been a capac rather than a root grid. I wonder what else I'd have to say for him to break his silence. Well, I've only yeah, just joined the TeamSpeak server. Yeah, I saw you do it. Yeah, I haven't even adjusted my volume yet. <laughs> I wasn't sure how ready you were. I was super ready. I was going to say, technically, I almost fall over every time I take a step. Hmm, true. Huh. What's going on? Uh, we've we've destroyed our target. We're mining silver. Ah, we're gonna stolen be stolen silver. Yeah, stolen silver. Plates, cups, saucers, all the oh. things. Oh, can I come sell them to the vendor and get a magic dagger? Yeah. Well, well you're free to join in. Quiet. Oh, why are you Am? No, oh, right. He was. You it's you always now. you always seem to be sitting away from your microphone when you yeah. first talk. Which is odd considering the fact it's on my head. That's yeah. quite impressive. <laughs> that is an impressive feat. <laughs> the mic just has to warm up. Hmm. Yeah, we we were successful today. Whoop, whoop. Well, you were. You did all the hard work. Um, is that true, Shadow? Because I'm pretty sure. Your drone was the one supplying the fuel for the bombs. Yeah, but you had to do all the corrections and the setup and the actual yeah. grid. But what I'm saying is, it was teamwork. That it was. Oh, well, why am I like this? No! And the reason I'm saying this is because oh. Capac and TFE are here to hear me say that. <laughs> so if I don't oh. say it to them, they know it can be said, but it wasn't. Wow. I think, <laughs> I think you just took all the wind out from having said it. Yeah, by I'm about to why say like you it, said it. I know. It, it was on purpose. Wow, okay, gee, thank, <laughs> I'm glad to be here. I'm glad no, to be part that of was, this quote unquote team of yours. That was the reason I said it then, not How the reason. How can I said you it. most efficiently insult everybody in the room at once? I know. I I thought that was a pretty efficient job. No. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously it was a it was a legit a team effort because i did not collect most of that stuff myself well you did do the most complicated work let's say it like that did i though you, you made a catapult a you <laughs> i did the fun <laughs> part I will acknowledge that. You corrected that. the missile, you've made the catapult, you've angled the catapult, you've hit the base many times with said catapult. Well, not with the catapult itself, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I could hit the base with the catapult if you want me to. I don't think I'll be able to do it more than once. Sure. Thing the catapult with a catapult. Why not? Yes. Well, I think next week's going to be... Um, I think I'm going to take on that fuel base, even if we don't really need to, because I kind of want to. Uh, While we're yeah, processing then... all this silver and uranium, because it'd be better to take it fully processed than wait for the ore, than take ores with us. And then I guess toward the end of next week, we'll probably be heading back to Lizuno with our spoils to yeah. eventually come back here with magnesium from Lizuno. Lizuno? That's not a real place. 
It's a little box. That's not the name of an internet browser. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You are not wrong. Lusuno GX. Yeah, Takara, we might collect some more of the ammo that's here as well. Probably should do that. Definitely want to do a full load with the um, with the Abominus Prime of Silver Ore back to base, though. Uh, mm. Tell us in the new Scrapyard series, the server on which I know Shadow and TFE have both been on, mm. uh, should be every Sunday is the plan, and tutorials will come out as I get them done around that. They'll just be extras, or... Yeah, they should just be extra videos. Is my plan. We will see how long that plan holds true. If I'm struggling exactly. to keep up, either the scrapyard or an AA re video might get replaced by a tutorial that week or something like that. If you struggle to keep up, you will put out more... No, as in if I struggle to keep up with doing both of them consistently every single oh. week, uh, plus That's the tutorials, <laughs> I'll replace one of them with a tutorial. Oh, wait. Okay, no, I, I see what you mean. I was about to say, like, huh? No, I think it's Sunday for most of the world. Is Sunday morning for the US? Because it's 8pm Sunday my time when I put those videos out. Oh, that's... So I think it's only the Pacific Ocean and some Pacific Isle... Yeah, no, there's only four hours left in the day. Central. Oh, don't talk about time zones. Yeah. Too early yeah, in the morning, morning for my US. brain to deal with thoughts of time zones. Just in case the world's in a dome so it can be daylight in the same place. <laughs> mm, that's a good idea. It's Aerodome. Oh. Okay, yeah, we'll yeah. Just, just build a Dyson Sphere. And it will be daytime all day, every day. Uh, Atomus, that is the mod that's being used on the server. What? Uh, they're asking about the scrapyard update for the new Rex, whether that's being used on the server or not. Yeah, yeah, and it's public too. Yeah. Thanks, Violet Kitten. Thank you for the Prime Sub. And hey, Scalabion, sorry I missed you earlier. Welcome, Raider. Uh, bro. So, I think Shadow and I have a pretty good plan for next week. Yeah, I'm just about to finish my miner as well, so good timing. Nice. I, uh, think. I think I might have also... There we go. Pretty much fill up this... the Abominus Prime. I've only got to do one more load. Oh, this is the chunkiest miner I've ever made. <laughs> well, apart from large grid miners, that is. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to cheat and have a look. Oh, I if. cannot get in. Why did I just hear really loud? Shadow, have you got fun music blasting at the base? No, but I'll turn it off real quick. It's, it, it might be that bug again. It is like there you go. max volume. <laughs> with the spectator camera. <laughs> oh no, I'm missing out on the fun music. See? I'm not the only one who likes fun music. Kapak doesn't like fun music. Kapak likes my pain. I can yeah. do both. <laughs> Old multitasking. It looks quite cute with your little bubble in the middle. Yeah. You're, you're now a donut hole. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> and the best part is, if I do this, and then do this. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I might need to make a little platform to land onto. There we go. Held it. Now oh. flee! <laughs> Alright, Shadow, what have you got coming this week? A lot of streams, actually. Are you on holidays or something? It's... Yes, actually. I do have school holidays. I found out last week, so... I, uh... Nice. Don't mind that surprise. So hopefully I can finish Bell World tomorrow slash today. 
Cool. Running one more time. Uh, for those who are somehow still unaware where to find Shadow, it's there in chat. Oh, and <clears throat> apparently I became a teenager again and my voice just cracked. Hey, that's my job. Well, actually, not anymore. No. Oh, <laughs> oh no. And. Black is old now. Coming up. Don't worry, now. Shadow. One day you'll be an old man like the rest of us. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to be a man all of a sudden. That would be quite concerning. Grow <laughs> mm. so old, I change genders. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so I, Kapak, TFA, and myself are going to go and play some Enshrouded right now. And Shadow will be back later today, her time. To play yeah, that over on her channel. Probably in about 11 hours from now. Cool. Uh, and otherwise, if you aren't able to hang around for the Enshrouded, I will be back on Friday with some more Underground Alone right here on Twitch, but then Certive Acquisitions on Wednesday and other things like that. But hang around, because we will be right back. <laughs>